Ooh, just in time. Look at that. So good afternoon. Good evening. Let me adjust my lights. That's better. You can see me. We're here for the cook fest. We're here for the mutatants. The mutatants, the mutants, even. I'm so, I'm so excited. I can't even get my words out. And uh, it's about time we uh, we slow cook some of these weird, weird people, very strange individuals. But uh, we do have a Victoria Malaga uh, to sip in their tears because we know they're going to be watching. Uh, so good afternoon to them. <laughs> How is everyone? Is everyone good? We're having a wonderful day, a wonderful Wednesday. Uh, big up to everyone who's locked in. Smash the likes, a thousand inside already. Jeez, it's backed by popular demand. With a tweaked new name, it's not Muppet Twitter anymore. It is Mutant Twitter, and there are some super mutants out there. Mega mutants. <laughs> uh, let's get into some of your comments before we um, before we start. Before we start, we get the uh, the viewing figures up, and then we will cook some of these uh, some of these fools real easily. Come on, big up to everyone locked in. Make sure you are subbing as well. Later tonight, um, I'm going to be on with Jez on his channel um with kenny and matt i think and then after that i'm on the reacts channel and we're gonna watch real madrid versus atletico madrid spanish super cup semi-final uh, so i'm looking forward to that uh but end the stream dave is going to be joining me uh so yeah last time we uh, did a real madrid watch along together mallorca very nearly uh got a result why does my missus always send me a voice message when i'm about to start one second. Sorry, lads. Sorry. One second. <laughs> anyway. All right, cool. Let's go. That's enough of that. Get out of here. I'm busy. We're going to put these mutants in the bin. Big up to everyone locked inside, people. Come on. Real ones everywhere. But yeah, make sure you check out the Lee Reacts channel as well. And uh, yo, my boy Matty, come on, bro. Come on, bro. This is not going to have any rhyme or rhythm to it. It's, it's just a load of bookmark tweets. So we could be going back to XG and then coming back to saying Kels and then back to XG. So I'm just going to go straight down the list because XG has got to be one of the worst metrics I've ever seen. What's the XG for this? Nobody cares. Genuinely, nobody cares. Oh, but I need the XG to prove that Arsenal are good. <laughs> Absolute wasters, these people. Anyway, I think, um, yeah, I think we'll start with uh, we'll start with a video. But I've got to be really careful with this video because if it goes too far, I'll get done for copyright. But um, but yeah, big up to Matty, bro. Make sure you sub to Southern Gooners channel, people. Matty's a real one. Uh, part of the uh, the original firm of real ones. So big up to Matty, big up to Declan. Bend it like Declan. Say hi to Declan. And some better player, um, better players in two windows and ask, ask Tetraz, our titties. <laughs> That's funny. In five years. What phase is that? Phase is Angin. Super mutants were saying Spurs ceiling is Arsenal's floor. Um, well, I've seen that they've signed Dragushin, uh, one of my Romanian brothers. Come on. Big up to him. Um, but the story that they've put out, oh, we rejected Bayern Munich. No, you didn't. Shut up. Don't, don't, just stop waffling. We reject as soon as Tottenham came in. It was a no brainer. Shut up. These people are stupid. And there'll be millions of Spurs fans around the world sitting there going, we beat Bayern Munich to him. No, you didn't. But it's great PR. And now it looks like Ange is the man. He wanted to play for Ange Postacoglu. Really? Okay, mate. We didn't want to go buy a Munich and win stuff in, no? Cool. It must be the easiest job in the world running a football club in England. What you've got to do is put out a load of fake fake news, PR, and millions of mutants around the world will parrot that all over the place. And anyone who calls it calls it out, they will just say you're a fake fan. <laughs> They're mutants. Uh, thank you for that, Declan. Uh, what do you think of your Jorkaev, Ludovic, Julie? Two ballers, bro. Jorkaev was a sick footballer. I can't lie. He was a very good player, mate. A very good player. And uh, unfortunately, we don't have many very good players in the uh, in the world anymore, do we? Most of them are trash. 
But, um, but yeah, big up to you, HN, man. Hope you're good, buddy. Hope you are good. Field tilt is the worst one. Well, that's probably where we should start then. Let's go. Let me uh, share my screen. Hopefully, you're all going to be able to hear this. Go to the old bookmarks. I've got loads of these. This is going to be an epic show, people. We're going to come back to them two top ones. But let me just go to uh, to this one. These are the half-time stats. He hasn't yet posted. Maybe he's uh, Scott's uh, upset himself. Uh, but in the first half, we won on field tilt. So we will take that. We will absolutely take that. In the first half, we won on field tilt. Woohoo! Yes! We won on field tilt. What the hell is field tilt? Can somebody explain to me what field tilt actually is? We won the first half. The stats are in. We won the first half on field tilt. So we'll take that. We will absolutely take it. Mate, shut up. You're a wrong one. Yeah, seriously. What is field tilt? Don't worry about the result. Can you imagine this geezer going into work? A uh, bad result for you guys yesterday, wasn't it? No, 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 no. We won on field tilt. What is going on with this sport, mate? Honestly, football fans have infested it with calculators, spreadsheets, pie charts, compasses. I mean, imagine this guy sat there on, on and not just him, there's millions like this, sitting there on match day with a compass and a ruler and a calculator. Why don't you just watch the game? We won on field tilt. Field what? What is field tilt, mate? Honestly. Field tilt is controlling the ball in your own half. <laughs> I have no idea what it is. I actually have no idea. Genuinely. And, and there's more and more. I oh, Trust me, there's some more of these coming up. Not videos, but there's some more of these made-up metrics coming up in a minute. And uh, this could go on for about two hours. I'm not even joking. I could be sat here for two hours. I right, big up to Daryl, my guy, bro. Come on, Chef Gunner in the building. Cheers. Let's go. Mm -mm. Cook these effing kings. Yeah, tell them, bro. This is what we're going to do. We're going to cook them slowly. A slow cook. It means a field full of tea. <laughs> I mean, the way we're finishing at the moment. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Let's carry on. Big up to you, my friend. Big up to everyone locked in. Smash these likes up as well. Not enough likes and there's 1,700 people in it. Legend as always. Bro, I'm not a ledge. I'm just a football fan that can't take these dickheads' opinions, mate. Yeah, because they are running the narrative, these people. But anyway, uh, let's go to this one. Can you, let's zoom in so you can see some of the stupidness. Top 10 expected assists in the Premier League. Bukayo Saka, number one. This super mutant who um, sits when he's on camera taking big gulps like he swallowed a golf ball because he's very uncomfortable on camera. The way rivals act like Saka is some scrub is hilarious to me. <laughs> very funny, mate. <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. All that because of expected assists that didn't actually result in assists. What is an expected assist? How do you even work that out? Can somebody tell me how you work out an expected assist? And if it's Eddie and Ketty in front of goal, is that a harder expected assist than if it's Erlin Haaland? How does it work? It's a load of rubbish. Load of rubbish. It is absolute crap. You know, I'm sick to death of all this expected this, expected that. How about win something? Yeah, how about that? How about stop expected this? How about actually do this? Here's another one. Here is another one. Another one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Jorginho is one of the best, uh, is the best one out of Kovacic, Kante, Jorginho trio. <laughs> Just the first line there. Just the first line. That's why he won the UEFA Player of the Year award. Oh, really? Okay. That is why he won UEFA Player of the Year award, because he is better than Kante, yeah? Okay, mate. Jorginho and Rice is the combination till the end of the season. The same combina combination that restricted City to just one shot when we beat them. Woohoo! 
Jorginho does not need an inverter. Oh, well, that's, that's going to upset a lot of our fan base then, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my days. How, why do other people talk like this? He doesn't need any inverter. He can control games entirely by himself on the ball. He played Cruz and Modric off the park at the Bernabeu. All he needs is balance and legs around him. That can be Rice's role. Play this duo always, and we will challenge for this title. Good one, lad. You don't believe what you're saying. Sounds good, though, doesn't it? Uh, we've done this field tilt one. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Let's go to this fella. Let's go to this fella. Let's go to this. What is going on here? Work. Is it that one? What am I doing? Oh, dear. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. See that Goldbridge Lee Gunner title. I watched that video. We can start with that if you want. Yeah, because he said, in the last decade, this is the best Arsenal have been. Yeah, mate, leave Arsenal to Arsenal fans, right? And you worry about Man United or Forest or wherever it is you support. Because 10 years ago was 2014, right? Last time I checked, that was 10 years ago, right? 2014, Arsenal won the FA Cup. 2015, we won the FA Cup again. 2016, title race, Leicester won it. 2017, we won the FA Cup again. League Cup final, Aguero dinked the goalkeeper. I was there. 2018, Europa League semi-final. And that was Wenger in his worst. So what are we saying here? What, one cup in four years? And apparently this is the best in a decade. Get out of here. Yeah. Statistically, it's actually our worst uh, trophy drought in a decade. It's the longest we've gone without a trophy in the last 10 years. What are people waffling about? Seriously, what are people waffling about? What are they waffling about? Statistically, this is the longest we have gone without a trophy in a decade. How is it the best we've been in a decade then? Facts don't care about fairy tales. Stick to Forest. Yeah, we've got another clip of him coming up in a minute because this guy, this guy. Oh, the the loud minority. Yeah, get in the bin and stick to United, mate. Yeah, how about that? Yeah, how about that? How about that, fella? Crazy. Crazy. An Amiga level mutant. <laughs> Have these likes. Get these likes up. Come on, let's go. We're going to carry on. Anyway, this is the same fella, by the way. Same fella. Uh, let's keep Mourinho because the next manager might not be as good. Let's lie in our own shit because if we change the sheets, I might follow through again. So you wanted Josie out, but I'm not allowed to want Arteta out. Cool. Cool. Well done, mate. The same Jose, by the way, who factually... Factually, it's the only Manchester United manager ever in their history to win a European trophy in their first season. Yeah, good one, mate. Good one. Let's go on to this other mutant, this one. Quite relieved to read this. Thomas Partey is the best midfielder in the world right now for our midfield. Get him fit. <laughs> this is a mega mutant, this guy, by the way. Tell him he owes us five months of fitness, then replace him with someone that can do things he can do on the ball in the summer. Good one. Oh, here we go. Deleting Twitter for a few days. Oh, I love these people. Nobody cares. I'm deleting Twitter for a few days. The time, timeline absolutely stinks. We'll be back for Palace. Nobody cares, mate. Oh, look at me. I'm quadruple jabbed. I'm France around in the box room wearing a face nappy. No one cares, mate. Yeah, it's like one, it's like these birds that sit on Facebook and go, oh, I'm taking a social media break. Uh, I just can't handle it. An hour later, they're posting pictures of their dinner. Nobody cares. Sorry, Zach. Nobody cares. Um, here we go. Liverpool FC. Trent Alexander-Arnold will be sidelined for a few weeks due to a knee injury. Assistant manager Pepin... Lingers, Lingers, I don't even know how to pronounce that name, has confirmed. So, this mega mutant, that's Trent and possibly Salah out. If Arsenal beat Liverpool at the Emirates, that's the title race flipped on its head yet again. Momentum swings in the direction and suddenly all the overreactions look felonous. <laughs> this is a long season, my friends. Relax and breathe. Shut up. Saka at his absolute worst is still better than Foden at his peak. Yeah, I've got eyes, mate. Maybe you should go Specsavers. 
Maybe you should go spec savers. Cool. On that, working on that basis, then, a Bamiang at his worst, who's got one league goal less than Bakayo Saka, and he's 34 years old. Oh, but it's the French league. No one cares. Yeah, this Aubameyang is mashing it up in France, but deemed not good enough for Arsenal. These comparisons with Saka and Foden, by the way, are hilarious. They are actually hilarious. Yeah, Anyone who's watched football and has a working set of eyes can see Phil Foden is a better footballer than Bakayo Saka. There's no harm in saying that. Saka's a good player. But Foden is quality, like real-level quality. Unbelievable. Yeah, there's no debate. Honestly, there is no debate. Why do they all talk like they're philosophers? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. They all think they're philosophers, bro. It's to make them sound like they know what they're talking about. When the reality is there are about 15 or 16 or 20 or 22 or whatever they are sitting there chatting absolute garbage. Go outside, get some fresh air, touch grass. Pretty simple, isn't it? Crazy. A guy did a book called Arteta Revolution. <laughs> Bro, that guy, Charlie Boy Watts, yeah? Absolute melt. Yeah, these creatures are infesting this fan base, mate. And I know they're all watching it. So I'm big up to you. Uh, cheers. We're going to keep slow cooking these people. We'll, uh, we'll make this more regular again. Uh, anyway, Mikel Arteta, Sky Sports. Arsenal boss says, signing a striker in January doesn't look realistic. They said Edu was the best sporting director in the world. <laughs> big up big up facts cook these cook these idiots right let's go to this super mutant the last minute 1v1 to secure a 1-0 champions league final win who are you choosing and why well it definitely ain't the two fellas on the left mate definitely ain't them two do you know why they've never played in the champions league final pretty obvious <laughs> it is pretty obvious why are they even there I love Saliba. Why is he in that list? Why is he on that? Why is he on that graphic? And why are you what? What? I'm pretty sure both of them have won the Champions League on the right. I'm sure, Thiago Silva won it at Milan, and Van Dijk's obviously won it. Where do these people spawn from? Like honestly, where do they spawn from? Crazy. Oh, let's go to this one. Let's go to this this super mutant, mega mutant. Watching a confidence Martin Odegaard is peak football heritage. It's like watching Cesc at times. No, it's not. He was about nine when Cesc played for us, mate. What are you waffling about? Kai Havertz I said his name. That's a shut, shut, shut. 29 is better than Sabos lie. Same person, by the way. The way people lie about Arsenal players on this app is hilarious. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Literally. You just can't make it up, can you? The way people lie about Arsenal players on this app is hilarious. The two, look, 29 is better than Sabos lie, based on what? And Martin Odegaard is peak, yeah, in his, his peak football heritage when he's confident. It's almost like watching Sesk. No, it's not. When does Odegaard dictate the flow of the game and the pace of the game and slow the game down? When does Odegaard slap one in 25 yards, top bins? When does Odegaard slalom around the whole team from kickoff? He don't. Stop waffling. Stop waffling. These people are crazy, man. I swear to God. They're actually crazy. Yeah, they are. They're, bro, they're crazy. So Moslai is overrated. But is, is 29 better than him? No. Based on what? There's no, there's no evidence to suggest he's better. It's crazy. Arsenal fans love to force players into debates. They were nev never been this exactly, and then they will cry that other fans of other clubs slag the players off when they do bad. We'll stop making out they're all world class then, and nobody say anything. We haven't got any world class players anyway. Let's carry on. Here we go. This is a good one. This is a good one. Arsenal's last three games: XG versus actual excluding pen what does that even mean versus actual excluding pens okay cool we're getting there xg what does that even mean tell me how you work this xg shit out because like i said is it the same score for xg right for a player 
if the player is Eddie Nketiah as it is for Erling Haaland? Is it if you if they're both going clean through on goal, is the XG the same? It can't be, surely, right? I don't know. Anyway, big up to this one. What's my AFC? If you look at the numbers and think there is any way the finishing slump continues, then think again. This is a statistical anomaly. A bit like our season last season, fella. Statistical anomaly. We're coming to that in a minute because your manager, my friend, has even said so. Cheers. We need some confidence back in front of goal. It will take one game. Somebody is about to get absolutely hammered by Arsenal. Good one. Good one. When's that happening? Now let's go to this mega mutant. This one, pound for pound, is one of the biggest divs on that app. Smash these likes up, guys. Come on. 600 likes, 2.4 inside. I swear to God, this guy is not wired up right. I beg supporters to stay with the team, says, says Mikel. Of course you do, mate. Of course you do. Listen to him. Why? He's a compulsive liar, like you, my friend. You're still selling them snide shirts. Oh, no, you're not, are you? Because we outed you on that on a Muppet show and you closed your Shopify account down with all them fake shirts you were palming off as real. Yeah? Them fake Arsenal shirts you were selling. Yeah? Pretending they were real. Authentic? No, they're not. No, they're not. Hence why you shut your Shopify account down. Idiota. Anyway, let's go to this one. Cole Palmer and Foden have a combined 28 goal contributions for club and country. Saka has 26. Saka has, <laughs> literally has to do double of what these boys are doing just to get half the praise. And I wonder why. Because they're not as, he's not as good, mate. It's pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious. Who is the better footballer? I said this a minute ago. Who is the better footballer? Phil Foden or Bako Saka? Cole Palmer's in there as well. Who's better, Cole Palmer or Saka? Better footballer. Yeah, forget output. Better footballer. They're all very good players, all of them. But if I'm picking a player to start in my team week in, week out, out of them three, Foden's getting the nod every time. Yeah, Foden is absolutely top class. And there's a reason that he plays for Man City. And there's a reason he's trusted to play at number 10 for Man City, to run games for Man City. There's a reason you can play him on the right. There's a reason you can play him on the left. There's a reason you can play him at number eight. Yeah, because the guy's footballing IQ is light years clear of Saka and Cole Palmer. But there we go. And he's got the ability to go with it. Crazy. Actually crazy. This this whole Foden Saka thing is pathetic. Pathetic. Honestly, it is pathetic. I, I just don't understand how anyone can watch football and think that Saka's better than Foden. I don't need to do a poll, bro. My mind's made up. <laughs> I'm not dissing Saka. I like Saka. I think he's a good player, but he ain't, he, ain't as good as, he ain't as good as Foden. He ain't as good as Foden. I'm sorry. He just ain't. He just ain't. Big up to LD for the super chat, bro. Uh, listen, if you have just tuned in, uh, make sure you are subscribing to the channel. We're, we're rocketing towards 94K, and uh, I'll be here for about another hour. So, um, yeah, if you've missed the first half hour, never fear. There's another hour to go. i um, been watching football for a long time, and I know when you miss 100 chances, you're going to pay for it. Never heard a field tilt before. Exactly, bro. We all watched that game against Liverpool and was like, we're going to regret these chances. We're going to regret missing these chances. Yep. What happened? Bang. Goal. And then, it's what it is. How can I predict that as soon as that goal goes in, Eddie and Kate is coming on? How can I predict that as soon as that goal goes in, we're going to lose 2-0 now instead of getting a goal back and going on and winning it? Seen it all before, mate, but I'm negative. Big up to you, bro. Big up to Riku as well. Uh, when Jorginho finished third in the Ballon d'Or vote, and I stopped taking it all seriously. <laughs> so he was the third best player in the world that year. Crazy, isn't it? It's actually crazy. They were trying to shoo him into everything that year. Unbelievable, Jeff. But this is what these people do. They they can't sit there and say that, um, that Arsenal are better than Man City. They can't sit there and have a go at Chelsea, even though they're in the mud. Yeah, where's your Champions Leagues? Kind of got Man United, mostly titles. And they've won Champions Leagues. And they actually won a trophy last season. Can't have a go at Liverpool. Where's your Champions Leagues? Oh, and our manager's actually won the Prem. Cool. So what they have to do is they have to make up player battles to make out their player is better than their player at the other club. It's pathetic. 
schoolboy stuff, man. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. How about win the title and then laugh in everyone's face? Ha ha ha, we won a league. How about that? How about that? That don't work like that, unfortunately, mate, because these mega mutants and super mutants are mutating. And we're here to exterminate them. Uh, big up to everyone locked in, man. Big up Jamino as well. Smash the likes up, everyone. Sub to Lee and Lee reacts. Yes, Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid tonight. We will be there. Me and end the stream, Dave. We'll be there. We will be there. We're going to uh, watch the Madrid game. Uh, that should be very interesting. Super Copa Espana semi final. Um, so, yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. With Saka's minutes, of course he's got good output. Exactly, bro. The guy plays every minute of every game. These statisticians, man, I told you, they sit there They sit there on match day with a calculator, a compass, and a spreadsheet. Ridiculous. En la basura. Exactly. A la Madrid. A la Madrid. At least we get to see some proper footballers tonight. Proper ballers, bruv. Proper. Cook these Muppets, bro. <laughs> Need to get exposed for their shamelessness. Exactly. Facts. Yeah, I ain't having it, bro. Yeah, I'm sick to death. Big up Northside as well. Northside cooks these dickheads all the time. All right, let's go to this mega mutant. There's a growing trend of having kids on a fan reaction. This tweet is why I'm hesitant, uh, why I'd be hesitant in doing so. This is, obviously, I think the geezer's deleted the tweet. Yeah, he must have deleted it. But um, this is the little boy that went on AFTV and everyone's cooking him. They're only saying the opinions of adults they are around. Crazy to me how happy people would be to abuse a child. Big up, Rory. That's probably the only real tweet you've ever posted, mate. Uh, however, however, to assume that the kid is only going off of what the adults around him are saying is kind of naive. Because I'm pretty sure he's about nine or ten years old. And I know when I was nine or ten, yeah, I was, uh, I was watching football as well, and I could make my own thoughts. Um, yes, obviously, you are very influenced at that age, but you can still have your own thought process. Yeah, and I thought that kid spoke pretty well. He spoke better than most of these mega mutants online. Uh, let's talk about this mega mutant. Jesus Christ on the bike. Uh, how's his YouTube channel going? Does anyone watch it? Anyone watch it? Is he, is he still uploading to it? Should we have a look? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. It ain't easy, is it, mate? Ain't easy. Ain't easy, fella. Ah, oh, yeah, just the 1.3k subs. Oh, how unfortunate. What happened to your 90,000 Twitter followers? Why haven't they followed you over, bro? Why didn't they follow you over? Oh, he uploaded a video yesterday. Arsenal need a striker, but who? That was his first, that was his first upload for a month. Hard work, innit, mate? However, he did do a live nine days ago. Mm. Not consistent enough, mate. Not consistent enough, fella. Uh, good luck to you. Anyway, let's cook him. Just clocked. Arteta only has 18 months left on his contract. We should open contract talks now before clubs like PSG, Madrid, Bayern, Man City and Barca start sniffing around. Um, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure, mate. Sorry to break it to you. I'm pretty sure it'll probably be clubs like Osasuna, Elche, Cadiz, uh, Granada, Las Palmas maybe, although they play better football than us and they've just been promoted. <laughs> so the Granada in their 19th. <laughs> Where do they make these fairy tales up from? In what planet would Real Madrid want this manager? Why would they want him at their club? Why would Bayern Munich want him? Why would Man City want him? Barcelona, I can see. PSG, no chance. No chance in a million years. But why would any of them clubs other than Barcelona want this manager? These people are tapped. I can't lie. They are actually tapped. They're not wired up right. The delusion. So basically what you're saying is this manager, let's just dissect this. as Let's translate mutant into English. That's what we do. We translate mutant into English. So basically... You're saying this manager is insanely good. He is that good that every top club on the planet will want this manager. So we better strap him up to a new deal. So on that basis, then, hold the fucker accountable for failure. Yeah, how about that? 
Because if he's up here and he's that good that all the Madrids and the Bayerns and the Man Cities and everyone want him, well, then there's no excuse for failure then because he's that good. Pretty simple logic, right? So when you translate from mutant to English, it actually makes sense now. They're waffling. Waffler. Anyway, let's carry on. We've got plenty more of this to go. About another hour. Let's continue. Why are people like this? Bro, they're crazy. They're crazy. Why were you wearing white shirts? Oh, don't worry about that, my friend. We're coming to that short leaf. We're coming to that short leaf. But yes, we have plenty more to go. Fake tweets for likes and impressions. Yeah, I don't really understand the concept of it because, yes, you get paid on Twitter. Well done. The, the impressions he's getting and the clicks and all of that, he's probably earning a few hundred quid a month. 500 maybe. Let's say he earns 500 quid a month. Good luck to him. Well done. Yeah. Why can't you convert the 90,000 over to YouTube? And if you got the same amount of clicks on YouTube, you'd probably earn about 50 grand a month, mate. <laughs> but you can't, can you? Like, as soon as people listen to these wafflers who can't hold an audience, can't sit there for three or four hours on a live stream talking to people, talking into a camera, yeah, to people in the chat and interacting with the chat, can't do three watch alongs or four watch alongs on the spin because they've got no personality. People go, yeah, I'll tune in. Oh, oh yeah, I'll turn now. I'm not watching that again. But it's very easy to create a tweet that is just text on the screen. That's it. Funny, though, because when I set up my Twitter account, I had like about 87K subscribers. No, I'd less than that. About 85K. It's funny how I've converted 10,000 of them over into Twitter, isn't it? Weird, but 90,000 has been converted over into 1.3K. Crazy. Crazy. How many trophies does he have? He has one. This manager has one. Twitter is an absolute mess. I'm convinced most people are. Yeah, I, may, I totally agree. They're not wired up. It, it, it's the weirdest, most deranged off-key off people. It'd be hilarious to, to have them all lined up in a row. Yeah, and you just piss yourself laughing, mate. You really would. Back in the day, these people used to be sectioned, you know, or go to different schools. Yeah, now they roam free. And if you called it out, you're the bad guy. Oh, my mental health. Shut up. Anyway, let's carry on. Moyes has won a European competition. What has Teta won? Well, he is the best-looking Spaniard we know, mate. The banner in the stadium is telling us that. Big up, Connor and Nicole. Come on, big up. Big up to both of you, man. Love you both. Hope you're well, man. Anyway, let's carry on. Let's carry on. Rice had 24 deep play connections. It's all good. <laughs> let's carry on. Let's keep cooking these mutants. Here we go. This one's a good one. Saka missed chance, Arteta. See, these people can't construct a sentence properly either. Saka missed chance, Arteta. Odegaard missed na, Arteta. Kai cannot dribble, Arteta. Kai cannot score, Arteta. Jesus missed sitter, Arteta. Party injured, na, Arteta's fault. Arteta, fault. But when Saliba makes a brilliant tackle, oh, Saliba is world class. Saka scores, our star boy, please shut up. Call the manager out when it's his fault. Yes. <clears throat> also give him credit when it's due. Stop all the agendas and double standards. Not like you lot can do a better job. Oh, yes. Let's just all pack it in then, fella. Let's just all pack it in. Absorb all the blame from the manager. Because obviously, I mean, the it's not like the manager picks the players. It's not like he signed the players. They're his players. It's not like he coaches them every day, trains them every day, picks the tactics makes the subs, game plans and all that. But no, 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 no. Let's blame the players that he signed, yeah? Working on that basis, we should have just kept Wenger. Because surely, just surely, why does it do that? I've got to go all the way back down again. Surely, just surely, when Olivier Giroud was missing sitter after sitter after sitter against Monaco, surely it weren't Giroud's fault. Or when Welbeck was missing loads of chances, Shamak and Bentner, Wally Walcott, when they were all missing chances, 
it weren't their fault then. We should have just kept them. Should have just kept them. They could still be playing now. It's not their fault. Should have kept Wenger. Like, what's going on here? These people chat absolute crap. Absolute garbage. Right. Another one. Another one. Another super mutant. Right, so big up to this guy underneath. Arteta should have gone somewhere in the championship or another league to gain experience before taking the job. Third biggest club in the league. And can't allow itself to be used in test as a testing ground for a rookie. Good tweet, fella. Very good tweet. So this super mutant, this super mutant, you're right. Go out and get an experienced coach who's won silverware. I'd take that Emery fella from Villa. It's a guarantee success. Excuse me? Yeah, guarantee success if you give him 650 million quid. Four years of PR. Willing out Ian Wright. Woohoo! With new kits every week. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it would. I'll tell you something now. We wouldn't have been embarrassed in Europe by him either. Yes, before anyone starts, we did lose the Europa League final in an embarrassing fashion. However, that's not his fault. He inherited a mess from Wenger. <laughs> Most of them players weren't his. He needs his own team. He needs 19 transfer windows and 650 million. We can't judge him until he gets his own stamp on the squad. Shut up, man. Stop waffling. Here we go. Let's go to this joker. Let's go to this joker. Wasn't in charge would win the league. Right, let's go to this joker. You've never won the Champions League. And you're talking like, oh, if Arteta wasn't in charge, we'd win the league. No, you bloody well wouldn't. You haven't won it for 20 years. You wouldn't. Says who? So you're telling me if we gave Ancelotti 650 million pounds, we wouldn't win the league? No? Well, how did he win the league when he went back to Real Madrid and spent about 30 million in the summer? Not the summer gone when he first went back there. How did he win the league? Oh, but he inherited a good squad. And? Still got to win it, mate. Still got to win it. And to put another myth to bed, which, in fact, no, I'll save that. I'll save that. Let's carry on playing this uh, this joker. Didn't win the bloody league. What Arteta's done in a very short period of time, it took you back to the Champions League, which you don't actually qualify for that often in recent history, and has put you in a title race for the second year in a row. Let's just stop that there. It's taken us back to the Champions League. <laughs> it's back in the Champions League. Yay. Wenger did that 20 out of 22 years, mate. We never won it. What's your point? What's your point? 20 years Wenger qualified for the Champions League. What's your point? And what's actually happened is these self-privileged Arsenal fans who like gobbing off, are gobbing off again, going, ah, oh, around. Oh, I'm telling you he's not the guy. Well, he ain't the guy, is he? He really ain't. Let's just break this down without this Muppet waffling, this mutant, the, the mutant of all mutants. <laughs> Let's just break this down. Arteta comes to the club the season after we finished fifth. Season after we finished fifth. One point off fourth, two off third, and we're in the Europa League final. Cool, we lost the final. Embarrassing fashion, whatever, whatever. Cool. We then sack him, Emery. We sack him. And apparently we was in a relegation battle. Another myth. Another myth. We was eight points off the top four with 25 games to go. Yes, we'd started poorly. However, back then, back then, most of these mega mutants were saying, well, they just got to try and get in the top four. Just got to try and get in the top four. Cool. We were joint eighth in the league. Joint eighth in the league. Joint eighth in the league. We were actually sat eighth, but level on points with other teams. Cool. Cool. Where did this manager take us, mate? So he took a team that finished fifth. Team that finished fifth in Europa League final. Sacked the manager when he was sat eighth. And you finished where? Oh, yeah. Eighth. Twice. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for the FA Cup. You've done 650 million, got rid of the whole team, and won nothing. 
But let's carry on. Let's listen to the rest of this waffle because he's basically indirecting this at me and Curtis and troops and people like that. Just say my name, mate. It's fine. They're acting like they're acting like Newcastle. We're a big club. You're not a big club. You might be a big club, but you're not a big club at the moment. Facts. It's about the only factual thing he said. Let's carry on. Arsenal fans need to show some. Well, the majority of Arsenal fans are absolutely fine. But there are a vocal minority. You need to show some bloody humility and you're not out of a title race. And actually, I look at your team and I go, you haven't got two very good fullbacks. Oh, so that's what I've been saying, right? Cool. Thanks. Let's go. You haven't got someone to play next to Declan Rice. Oh, so that's what I've been saying. Cool. But we wasted 65 on the German giraffe. Cool. Let's carry on. And you haven't got a striker. Oh, what I've been saying then. Cool. Well, I'm sorry, you haven't got two top-class fullbacks, you haven't got a number eight, and you haven't got a striker. You're not going to win the league against Man City and Liverpool. You are where you are, third place. I think Arsenal are still a work in progress. Still a work in progress. Still a work in progress. Yeah, if you give Ancelotti 650 million quid, we'd have a top striker, we'd have two top fullbacks, and we'd have a player... In midfield that can actually play better than that german giraffe what are you waffling about what are you waffling about absolute waffle merchant that geezer mate absolute waffle merchant mutant anyway let's carry on let's go let's go big up harry simu make sure you sub to his channel i like harry some thoughts on the january window from an arsenal perspective I'm not expecting the club to do any major business over the course of this month. John Cross, yes, that reliable journalist, reported earlier that a left-back, possibly on loan, is currently the club's priority. Why do we need a left-back? We've got one in, in uh, Sociedad. Why do we need a left-back? I don't get it. Why do we need a left-back at this football club? Uh, given we've got Tomiyasu and Timber to return, Dinchenko and Kivior, as a last resort... We've done 24 million quid on Kivior, but he's the last resort. I can understand why the club would be reluctant to commit funds to that pos position specifically. I understand why some are desperate to see our full forward come in. But I genuinely believe our creative issues at the moment stem from the midfield. Sorry, Harry, but I'm pretty sure you were sitting there gassing up 29 when we signed him, mate. Scan on here. Anyway, partly due to the lack of width. Because of the way our fullbacks are deployed. Oh. So we need a fullback that overlaps and can cross the ball and can defend. Wonder what about that fella at Sociedad? What about him? That fella that won the FA Cup with us. Yeah, what about he, he, he seems pretty good. We are literally one injury away, from both defence and midfield, from having to turn players that aren't. Um, turn to players that aren't and have never been good enough. But I thought the squad was fixed. The squad needs work. But given a number of injuries that we are seeing in the Premier League nowadays, will it ever be complete? Um, well, Man City seems to be complete. And if we know that there's injuries every year, because it happens for every team, surely it's a recruitment issue. So that goes back to him, the manager, in your picture on there, and they do the spunking and funds on Kivior's and Vieira's and 29's and players like that. There's work to be done, but we need to be creative. Us as fans will have to recognize some of what we do is merely short term fixes. And come the summer, we can address the likes of the centre forward position. So we have to wait. We have to wait five years to get a striker. Wow. OK. OK. Five years, yeah? Wow. It's what we're dealing with, yeah? Five years. It's fine. We just have to accept it, yeah? Heads up. On to the next. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's read this out. Before I do that, I'm going to come to your comments, people. I'm going to come to your comments. Allegri 2.0, George Graham. Bosh. Bosh. Let me go through these super chats real quick and I'll come to the other comments. Big, big up to everyone watching. 3.1K in this building, mate. Make sure you are smashing these likes up. Uh, appreciate everyone who is locking in. Uh, I do very much appreciate it. And um, do make sure 
that you are subscribing as well to the reacts channel as well the link for that is in the description me and dave are going to do um are going to do a real madrid atletico madrid watch along tonight so keep your eyes peeled for that i'm also on with jez as well later uh, kenny and jez on their channel uh, on jez's channel so make sure you come and check that out that will be lovely jubbly but anyway anyway let's carry on uh big up to the pace and power hour that's a cool name big up to you my friend uh, in fairness saka is better for england um saka has been trash for arsenal since march it's crazy he's actually fallen off a cliff but these ga merchants are going oh but he's got ga he's got ga big up to you my friends uh, big up to john 10 would City sniff Arteta when? Why would City sniff Arteta when they have Pep? Exactly, bro. These people chat absolute garbage. Um, love the roasting session, mate. As an Ajax fan, we are currently in the gutter, but at least our fans did say, and everybody got fired. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we expect the best for our financial little means. Exactly, bro. Come on. Like at the end of the day, the fans hold the standards of the football club. You have to be up here with your mentality. Even if your club is down there, you still have to have that winning elite mentality. Yeah, hold people accountable. Doesn't matter what football club you are. But that's toxic and negative in England, mate. Uh, big up to Dwayne as well. Are you following that? Um, are you following Mike to support in Madrid as he's sick of the state of the club's fan base? I might do the same. Uh, I will be watching Real Madrid tonight, mate. I like watching Madrid. I've watched nearly all their games this season. I've missed a couple of champion, well, Champions League games couple of their Champions League games. I missed a game against Las Palmas. Other than that, I've watched all their games. So yeah, I will be watching them tonight. I uh, hope you're good, Dwayne. Cheers, man. Never drop your standards. Big up seven inch destroyer. Big up to you, my friend. Yeah, facts. You can't drop your standards. Big up Travis as well. Remember the vid we're signing Grealish. <laughs> These people, bro. Uh, Lee, we need to see a collab with... No, 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 no. I'd rather drink bleach, bruv. Yeah, there's a reason I only uh, collab with certain people, my friend, and have done over the years. I deal with people that ain't cereal wafflers. Cheers. Worst account for me. Oh, mate, he's proper off key, that guy, mate. Proper off key. Proper, proper off key. Calls anybody who likes Lee Gunner uh, and Lee Gunner D Rider, whilst his profile picture is Mikel Arteta. You can't make up how thick these people are. It's just, it's, it's glaringly, it's just crazy. It is crazy. But there we go. Big up to Luke. Long edge Yeti as well. Speaking on behalf of Forrest, we do not claim. <laughs> I don't think United claim him either. But there we go. It is what it is, bro. Uh, big up to Japarican. Uh, Odegaard should be head, um, do a head and shoulders commercial. He should. He should, mate. All them hair flicks. All them hair flicks. Joker. Absolute joker. Did you see him waving his arms? Giving it all this expected waves. And he was doing it to the Liverpool fans. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they say, I have always said that they should fire Ten Hag because there is no replacement. Bro, this is the same guy that said he wanted Mourinho out, mate. I, I just can't take him seriously. As soon as you start getting access to the football club and your staff are interviewing Bruno Fernandes um, in the stadium, after the Bayern Munich away game. Nah, mate, sorry. You're never going to say the truth, are you? Uh, big up Desmond, man. Big up to you, my bro. And big up to John 10 as well. Keep it as the Muppets used to love the thumbnail. Don't worry, man. I'm going to get a decent mutant one set up. I might get a little trailer set up as well. A nice little trailer that we can uh, we can put in there as well. So, yeah, we're, uh, we're sort that out at some point. But, yeah, big up to everyone who's locked in, man. Uh, over 3K in there at the minute. So make sure you are su uh, subbing. Make sure you are um, liking the video. We're nearly on a 1,000 likes at the minute. I'm going to carry on for about another half hour or 40 minutes because uh, there's still plenty more to go. Um, I am going to go and get a beer. Uh, let's read out some of you, your comments. Um, I was eating when Odegaard rubbed that snot through his hair after blowing his nose. Gross. Lost my appetite. <laughs> Big up to David as well. As a Madrid fan, I still get nightmares of us almost signing in 29 before Chelsea. Big relief. Uh, big relief that we dodged that particular bullet. He's trash. 
I don't care how anyone dresses it up. He is trash. They can chat as much as they want. <laughs> Big up to Ian Gould, bro. Hope you're well, man. It's crazy. It is actually crazy. But there we go. Needs to bring back Master Splinter. In the flip-flops. Where's my Master Splinter? There we go. There we go, mate. Just for you. Just for you, my friend. Yeah, pam these likes up. Come on, let's hit a thousand likes. Let's keep reading some of these out, and then I'll go back to the uh, to the mutants. Not an forest fan here. Love your content. Big up to you, Sean Stone. Come on, big up. Big up to everybody locked in. Top gooners and top reds are in the mud. Is there any coincidence that the two biggest fan channels there? Um, or, or an exact mirror image of the two most clapped fan bases in English football? Or is it a reflection of the fan bases because of that? Or is it that because of that? Or maybe it's a bit of both. Maybe it's a bit of both because millions of people tune into both of them. Fair play to them. Good luck to them. However, they tune in thinking that that is what every Arsenal fan should think. That is what every United fan should think. So anyone who doesn't think like that is now toxic, negative, not a real fan. You're a fake fan. No, 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 no. I don't work like that here, mate. I don't know where I don't know where it like works here, there, and everywhere. But here on this channel, we deal in real talk, factual information. We deal in facts about the club. We don't deal with BS. Yeah, but 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 we won on field tilt. Shut up. Sick of it. Anyway, let's read this out from the manager. Admitting that you know that our attack would not score the same amount of goals as last season and not buying a striker is just unserious. So, do you expect the good form in front of goal last season to return? This is in a press conference the other day, by the way. Well, I think what they did last year is exceptional. And we knew that to maintain those numbers was going to be extremely difficult because it was a one-off. And not just a one-off for us, a one-off in the league. So we need to, uh, we need to know. <laughs> so we know that we need even um, other resources and other kinds of goals to maintain the levels that we want. So basically, scoring eighty-eight goals in the league last season was an anomaly. The manager's words. The manager's words. It was an anomaly that we scored eighty-eight goals in the league last season. It was. It, it, I mean, it, what, what he did last year. I mean, it was unprecedented. He loves that word, doesn't he? Let's take a shot. Unprecedented. Clear and obvious, guys. Let's fucking go, guys. We got a thousand likes, guys. Clear and obvious, guys. Let's fucking go, guys. Clear and obvious, guys. 650 million for a one-off. Do you know what I'm saying? It's a load of rubbish, bro. Like, And this is the thing. How so many people just sit there and lap up this crap? It's just insane. It'll be difficult because it was a one-off. Not a one-off to score 88 goals in the league, mate. It really ain't. It really ain't. Anyway, call me delusional. Delusional. But Arsenal have what it takes. The next few months, we'll show the world. Pound for pound, one of the biggest weirdos on that app. Weird guy. Very weird. Very strange individual. Very strange. Before I play this next video clip, um, I'm going to go and get myself a beer. I'm going to go and take a quick break in the bathroom. A quick leak. Don't go anywhere. 2.9K inside. I'm enjoying this. And we're going to cook for another half hour, 45 minutes. Because there's still more to go. Then we're going to go for a load of comments towards the end as well, people. But smash the like. So I'm going to bust him for a pee. And um, I would be literally 45 seconds. Don't go anywhere. Make sure you are subbing to this channel as well. How many subs are we on? Road to 100k is on. Uh, 23,248. Come on, we can do better than that. We can do better than that, guys. You, It's fucking go, guys. Yeah, I feel embarrassed, guys. Clear and obvious, guys. You can do it, guys. Yeah, be the unicorn, guys. But anyway, we're going to come back and we're going to dissect this in a minute. This video underneath that starting 11. <laughs> 45 seconds, right? Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere.
we are back. Hey, listen, only 100 people left. Come on. The Mutant Twitter show is going in full flow. Right, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. Right. Let's play this. If it loads. Why ain't it loading? What's going on here? Load. Why ain't it loading? What's happened? Why does it always take me back to the beginning of the bookmarks? What's all about? It's jarring. Play. Oh, come on, don't take the piss. Play. Right, okay, cool. Let's go to that. For some reason, I don't want to play. Oh, come on, man. No, this is mad. Work. Moving like Jorginho, here it is. Let's see if I can do it on my phone. Let's see if I can do it on the phone. Let's have a look. Let's see if it's going to work on the phone. Smash these likes up, guys. Uh, Liverpool fans reminding me that, you know, Klopp um, won his first Premier League, I think, in his fourth or fifth season. Yeah. Right? I'm saying, so they're saying that Arteta has to do that. I think Klopp took over a better team. They, they... Klopp took over a better team, yeah? Klopp took over a better team, apparently, right? Cool. Klopp took over a better team. Just bear in mind that's what he's just said, yeah? Klopp took over a better team. Another serial waffler. Absolute serial waffler. The better team. Klopp took over a better team, yeah? We're going to carry on playing the rest of that in a second as well. Simon Mignolet, Nathaniel Klein, Martin Skirtle, Mamadou Sacco, Alberto Moreno, Lucas, Emre Chan, James Milner, Coutinho, Lalana, Origi. Look at the bench. Bogdan, Colo Torre, Connor Randall, Joe Allen, Jordan Ibe, uh, Jared Teixeira, and uh, Jerome Sinclair. Meanwhile... Arteta, Leno, David Luiz, Socrates, I'm a poet, I fully know it, Maitland Niles, Bako Saka, Torreira, Xhaka, Mesut Ozil, Abamyang, Laka, and Nelson. Who's got the better team? Who's got the better team? So who took over the better team then? Oh, it was Mikel Arteta. Oh, okay, so that's another lie then. Stop waffling and say it as it is. But anyway, let's carry on playing the rest of the clip. I took over was underachieving. But remember, they nearly won the league under Brendan Rodgers. Just for... The team that Klopp took over nearly won the league under Brendan Rodgers. Nearly won the league under Brendan Rodgers. Excuse me. I swear these people don't fact find and don't, um, don't do their homework before waffling this crap. Mad, isn't it? Crazy, isn't it? Suarez left. Yeah, Suarez did leave. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah, Klopp is elite. Yeah, how come Klopp got a style of play out of that inside the first six games? Moreno was a liability. He nearly won the league. He nearly won. He, the team he inherited nearly won the league. Funny that, because when you mention how um, Arteta couldn't do this and, you know, we finished second and this and that, blah 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 all you get is oh but the landscape was different back then it's harder to get in the top four now it's harder to get in the top four now is it no it ain't it's the same thing mate it's the same thing the nearly nearly anyway let's carry on because the waffle continues right and then you know i mean so that would be well, he was about to come in and make a lot of changes and he rebuilt the team and yeah, we know that but he didn't pick up an absolute mess though didn't pick up an absolute mess okay simon Mignolet, was he a mess what about alberto moreno 
Yeah, Mess, Lucas, the centre back, Sacco, because he weren't any, any good. <coughs> Skirtle was a liability at times. Yeah, look at that forward line. Divock Origi, Adam Lalana, and Philippe Coutinho. Now look at ours. Emre Chan as well. Yeah, now look at our front four. Ozil, Abamyang, Laka, and Reese. Unbelievable. Waffling. Absolute waffle. Yeah, not only that, when Klopp got there, right? When Klopp got there, he got them top four in his first full season. Off in the back of qualifying for that Champions League by getting top four, he got straight to the final. Lost it. Qualified again. Got straight back to the final again. As soon as he qualified for Champions League, he got two straight finals. What's this manager doing? This manager took four years to get in the Champions League. What are you waffling about? Stop finessing people, you liar. What Arteta picked up where he has so much problems to solve. Uh, we were having to make players like Urza walk away with his contract cancelled. We had No, 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 no. Hold up. Wait a minute. Didn't have to, did you? The football club chose money. Yeah, chose um, money. Yeah, over the player. They chose money over the player. Because if you remember rightly, he put that out about the uh, Uyghur Muslims. Yeah, and everyone went crazy. And sponsors were pulling out um, the um, Pro Evo game in China. They, they, took us, they took us off the shelves, our version of the game. They refused to sell it. They refused to show our game against Man City in the whole country. So the football club chose money. We didn't have to get rid of Mesut Ozil, did we? Didn't have to. But anyway, let's go. The old Abamyang saga, we had to get rid of all these defenders. There was all these players that were on big contracts that we literally just had to give them away. He had to deal with all that show. He had to deal with all of that. We had to give them away. We had to give them away. So why was it then, when I was going on there, you kept telling me every single fan cam, oh, you've got to give Wenger his praise, mate. You've got to give Wenger his praise. Oh, come on, mate. Sing the song. Come on, he's leaving now. You've got to give him his praise. Why did you keep wanting Wenger, 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 Wenger? But now he... Mikel's inherited a mess and they're on big wages. We have to eat, eat. It's almost like they're lying, isn't it? Full of crap. Absolute waffle merchants. Mutants. Anyway. That video obviously didn't want to play on my Mac for some reason. But there we go. Let's carry on. Let's carry on. This question always gets me. Please tell me your realistic manager to replace Mikel. Then you give them a name and they dismiss it instantly. Oh, but what did he, what did Ancelotti do at Everton? And what did he do at Everton? He finished two points behind your manager, mate, with a worse team. Look at Everton since he's gone. Relegation every year. <laughs> Relegation battle every year since Ancelotti's left, mate. He finished two points behind you, your manager, in his season there. He's got the highest win percentage ever for an Everton manager in the Premier League. Oh, and he beat you home and away. Okay, cool. So what did oh he didn't what did he do at what did he do at Everton? Then you go down the route of Conte. He's available, he's at home, he ain't doing anything. Then they come out with a standard waffle. What did he do at Tottenham? I'll tell you what he did at Tottenham. Finished above your manager in his first season, which got him top four. Cheers. Which, by the way, we had with four game three games to go, four points above him. Good one. That's what he did, mate. Yeah, because you keep waffling about top four as a trophy. Uh, then you go down the route of, well, Jose. Oh, but what did he do at Tottenham? Got him into a League Cup final and got sacked three days before it. Then went to Roma and won him their first European trophy in his first season for about, what, 20 years or whatever it was? But they love to bring up the, what did they do at this club when they didn't win anything at that club? No drama. What is your manager doing? Who do you want to replace him when he finally fucks off? Yeah, because nobody's better than Mick Arteta. Yeah, apparently, according to this fan base, a large percentage of them. So are we control alt deleting the club then when he's gone? Are we folding the football club when he finally leaves? And then you go down the Simeone route. Oh, but he's, he's out of a title race already this season. And what? So are we. And the fact that Atleti are always in a title race or most years are in a title race, is down to him. The fact they've won it twice is down to him. The fact that they won it two years, two and a half years ago, was down to him. But they'd like to forget 
They like to forget. In the time Mikel Arteta has been the manager of Arsenal, Simeone is one more than him. It's one more than him. But Simeone's washed, mate. It's funny because all these managers with better CVs can't do better than Super Mick. So who are we going to get? And you ask any of these mutants, any of these mutants that say nobody's better, and they always say, give us your realistic. Why do you need that word realistic in there? Okay, I'll give you a realistic manager option then, mate. How about the Girona manager? How about that? Oh, but what's he ever done? Do you know what I'm saying? Every manager you come out with, these people have got an answer. So cool. When Mikel leaves, fuck off with him. All leave with him. Because the club's finished, surely. When Surely we can't get anyone better than Mikel Arteta. So unless he's a mortal, we're finished. If he leaves or we'll get sacked, we're dusted. Well, yeah, Hansi Flick, another one. Oh, but anyone could win with that Bayern team. That's all you ever get. These people, they're programmed bots, mate. Yeah, they're all quadruple jabbed and 15 boosters deep. Yeah, they're still wearing face nappies in the box room, bro. Yeah, I'm sick to death of these mutants chatting crap. You're telling me that a manager who's still learning on the job is better than all the managers I've just listed. Come on, turn it in. Turn it in. Oh, what realistic manager? Well, mate, we're Arsenal Football Club. We can pay more money to managers than anyone. If we want to get Simeone out of his contract, paying for 40 million a year. Here you go. It's 40 mil, mate. We'll give you 250 every summer. You're telling me he ain't coming. Zidane sat home, exactly. Oh, he won't come to England. Says who? Do you know him? Has he told you that? Do you know what I'm saying? They chat crap. Allegri, another one. Oh, he's washed. He's washed. <laughs> he's washed, is he, mate? Okay, mate. Anyone with a good CV, they don't like because then it means the standards get raised. And I'm telling you right now, the day this manager finally leaves, these lot are going to be in tears. Yeah, They are going to be in tears. And I am here for it, watching it, drinking it in, doing a live stream probably for the whole day, the day he finally leaves this football club. Yeah, The mutant Twitter show that day is going to be hilarious. It'll be a full day. It'll be a carnival, carnival atmosphere in the League Gunner residence. <laughs> But yeah, you mentioned all these managers um, and they dismiss them instantly. So flip it back on them and say, I'll tell you what, mate, seeing as nobody can do better when you dismiss every manager that I've put on the table, who do you want? They never give you an answer. But then they dismiss our answers. Let's hope he's immortal. Let's hope he ain't leaving anytime soon then, yeah? Let's hope the club don't sack him then. Let's hope he stays for the rest of your lifetime, fella. Yeah, because there's nobody better than Mick Arteta. There's nobody better. Literally, there's not a single manager on the planet that could do a better job than Mick Arteta. Crazy. Crazy. The only one that wouldn't leave is uh, Ancelotti. Bro, do you know what, yeah? I said this the other day, right? When, um, what's the guy's name that went on the terrace yesterday? Another waffler. Jesus Christ. Why do people waffle? That guy supports Real Madrid, yeah? Right? I've never spoke to him, don't know him, cool, whatever, good luck to him, yeah? But then when it comes to the Arsenal segment, come to the Arsenal segment, oh, I think it's a bit of an overreaction, you know, it's not as bad as everyone's making it out to be. Let me put it to you then, fella. Let me put this to you then. If Real Madrid had won one game in seven and been knocked out of both cup competitions, early doors, i.e. the first round they've entered, and both cups, what would the Madrid fans say? Would the manager still have his job if he was sat fourth in the league out of both cups by January and one winning seven, losing three on the spin? Would the manager still have his job? Oh, he wouldn't. So why do you hold your club to a higher standard than mine then? Oh, you know, it's not a problem at Arsenal to go one in seven, but it is at Madrid. No, 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 no. Don't work like that, mate. Standards are standards. Standards are standards across the board. Doesn't matter whether you're Brighton, Blackpool, Fulham, and them man. Yeah, at the end of the day, standards are standards. Real Madrid sacked three managers in one year before. Yeah, Real Madrid had Lopetegui as their manager, just sacked him after 14 games because he lost six of them. Yeah, and then they got what's his name? Who was the guy they got after that or before that? Sanchez, I think it was. Seven in games he lasted. Like, come on, what are we doing here? 
oh, it's not the end of the world that Arsenal have lost three on the spin. No, if they took their chances, if they took their chances. This is the same Real Madrid, by the way, that sack managers after the, the day after winning a league. Solari, that's it. Sorry, Solari. Big up everyone who's locked in. Yeah, give me the name. Solari, it was Solari, you're right. Yeah, but this is my point. How can you sit and say it's not the end of the world that Arsenal are out of both cup competitions at the first attempt? Sat fourth in the table and not one, only won one in seven. Now flip that and say, right, if that's Madrid, what's the crack? Oh, the manager sacked. Well, let's have the same standards here then, yeah? Crazy. Crazy. Too cool. Oh, but if you get too cool, yeah, he's so defensive. Eh. <laughs> these people, bro. Yeah. Ask any of these Arteta mutants. Yeah, these Arteta bots. Ask any of them who they would take as manager the day Arteta leaves this football club. Not one of them will give you an answer. Yeah, because they chat bollocks. But anyway, let's carry on to another super mutant. This one's kind of um, Arteta out, but he doesn't really want to want to say it online. This one is definitely Arteta out, this one. 100% this guy is Arteta out. Yeah, but he'll have a little bit of a rant. Yeah, and then he'll put out a tweet like this. From 2017 to 22, there are only two teams in title contention. Well, that's factually incorrect as well, isn't it? Because Tottenham are in a title race under Poch. 2017, Chelsea won it. Man City were still there or thereabouts though, wouldn't they? Yeah, the following season, Man City went invi um, invincible. Oh, yeah, Centurions, didn't they? Anyway, City and Liverpool, they're the only two teams, apparently. Nobody else came close. Well, that's factually incorrect because Conte won it, mate. 2017, Conte won it. Then we beat him in the cup final. I know it was 2017 because I went to the cup final and they were record-breaking champions, mate. What are you lying for? Tottenham, with a younger squad than Arsenal had last year, Amassed more points than Arsenal did last year and lose, lost the league to Conte. So what are you talking about? Only City and Liverpool. Waffler. Anyway, Arteta took us from the mud to a title contender with the youngest squad in the league. Blips will be there. It isn't the end. It's only the beginning. Just back him. <laughs> what is this bullshit, man? Honestly, these people chat absolute garbage. They chat rubbish. They chat absolute rubbish. Yeah, the fact and reality is here, yeah? Right? Nobody cares that it's the youngest squad in the league, mate. It's the youngest squad in the league. By design, we chose to do Project Youth, which, again, lowered the standards of the football club because mutants like him and every other mutant on there, oh, but we've got the youngest squad. And what? How about go and get some older heads then? Because maybe they can get us over the line. What are, what are people missing here? What are they missing here? And not only that, he took us from the mud. The season before this geezer rocked up at my football club, we finished fifth. Two points off third. And a Europa League final. Back that manager was 650 million. We wouldn't be sat here. We just won FA Cup. Yeah, perfect. Where was all this love for Emery? Pathetic. These mega mutants, man, they need exterminating. And we're here to do that, people. Anyway, let's go to this one. 29 signing, timber injury, some poor finishing has really flipped the narrative because the recruitment under Arteta has been very, very good. And it's the main reason for our trajectory over the past three seasons. Six, seven hundred million spent for a 1.1 billion squad says it all. Yay! We've won the 1.1 billion squad off a 600, 700 million spent trophy. Yay. Yay. Almost like not buying a proper finisher, mate, means that we're not finishing. We've got a striker who says he can't score. We've got the King of Zamunda coming off the bench who can't score an away goal or at all. <laughs> We've got 29 who walks around looking like he's lost his puppy. We've got a goalkeeper who says he can't concentrate and a left back who ain't a left back. He's a number 10. But Pep put him at left back, so this dickhead's put him at left back. Now, openly admits he can't defend. Going well. Anyway, let's go to another mega mutant. This one, this one's got a gig at Football London now as a football sports writer. 
<laughs> yes. 29 got a battering from some of our fans following Arsenal's Liverpool defeat. With a rewatch, it turns out these criticisms were very harsh. Great movement was not matched by the service it deserved on the day. Uh, almost like buying a donkey who can't score goals, mate, means the donkey ain't going to score goals, mate. What are these wafflers waffling about? After a rewatch, it turns out these criticisms were very harsh. No, he missed a header from three yards out, mate. There, he's six foot four. What are you waffling? Here we go. Here's another one. Who is better, current Odegaard or prime Zidane? And then when 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 he drops stinkers and people go in on him, oh, it's so harsh. Why is everyone picking on Odegaard? Because dickheads like that. That's why. Idiots like that comparing him to Zidane. This is what this this is what football has become, mate. Social media has buried this football club, genuinely buried this football club because it's got mutants mutating and putting out crap like this. And the football club, Stan Kroenke likes that tweet. Stan Kroenke loves that tweet. Edu loves that tweet. He loves that tweet, mate. The club loved that tweet. Well done. Well done, mate. Anyway, let me come to um, the Super Chats inside. Big up to everyone locked in, man. 3.1K in the building still. Jeez. We are balling out today. Um, big up to Go AM. Thoughts on tactic <laughs> Golf in Arsenal for two seasons. Straight, just to end with muddy knees. Big up Flewers, man. Terence Flowers, big up to Flowers. Big up to Flowers, bro. Truth always comes out. The truth always comes out, my friend. Thank you for the super chat, buddy. Field Tilt pod clip I sent you um, is now saying expected points. Oh, my days. When can we expect a trophy? Expected goals, expected assists, expected hair flicks, expected arm waves, expected claps. When can we actually expect a trophy? How about that? When is it fashionable to sit and call it out without being bombarded by mutants chatting crap? You're negative, you're toxic, give us a they, all, they must have a handbook, a little manual. Oh my God, Lee Gunners tweeted this. Right, I've used Spurs fan. Okay, uh, uh, Okay, toxic. <laughs> they all sound the same. They all sound the same. And this was the same when Ozil was at our football club. Anyone who criticised Mesut Ozil, yeah, like myself, the reason I criticised Mesut Ozil so much is because I expected so much more from him based off of what I'd witnessed at Madrid. And he comes to our club and just he was on a jolly up having a holiday, finessing people. But as soon as you criticise Mesut Ozil, all of his minions and mutants come out of the place with the same crap which is why the ex um super fan that i've absolutely put in the bin on his own podcast couldn't act it facts don't care about fairy tales same with this manager when is it acceptable to call this out without being battered by mutants chatting crap yeah the serial losers they're more interested in Mikel arteta's career than they are this football club winning the day this geezer leaves this football club oh my days i'm streaming all day no joke, I will do an all-day stream, an eight, nine, ten hour stream. All day long. It's gonna be the biggest mutant Twitter show ever. And it'll probably trend number one. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Land it on them. Come on, big up touchline facts. We only deal with the facts, my bro. We're landing the minerals, bro. Big up Johnny. Uh big up to Natty SHD as well. XG is probably the uh, probability of a shot going in based off of where the shot is taken from, where the defenders are positioned. It lacks context as if as players different in shooting ability, but the XG won't adjust. That's exactly what I asked at the start. Big up to you, my guy. That's exactly what I asked at the start. If Eddie Nketiah is clean through on goal and Erling Haaland's got the same chance clean through on goal, how's the XG the same? How? How's the XG the same if they're both one-on-one -on -one with a keeper from the halfway line? Nobody's near them. They're gone. They're clean through. They're running straight down the center of the pitch. Yeah, they're both going against Allison, for example. Right? Surely the XG changes because Erlen Haaland can finish and Eddie and Ketty can't. But the XG stays the same. So it's all you need to know about these made up metrics, mate. Crap. 
Uh, big up to Yeti as well. Five months, man. Fish is stuck in the fryer. <laughs> right, the fish is cremated, bro. I can't lie. Big up to Aslan1234. Objectivity, uh, objectively, Lee. How much did we actually improve since Wenger left? Where do you think we'd be if Wenger had stayed since 2009 and given 640? We probably would have won a title. Probably wouldn't. If Wenger was in charge last season, we win that league. Yeah, there's no way he's bottling an eight point lead. And that was Wenger in his worst. Give him 640 mil. This manager spent about 200 odd million less than Wenger did in his entire career, by the way, at Arsenal. And he's been here four and a half years, this manager. It's crazy. Good question, man. Big up for the super chat, bro. Klopp took that shit team to the Europa League final and had us up before competing, fell apart. And the League Cup final. He did two, two cup finals in the first season. I remember Unai Emery's Sevilla beat you in the final. Sturridge scored a banger, absolute banger in that final. Big up to you, mate. Appreciate that. Big up to Akin Joseph as well. Why did Barca get money for Abba, but we couldn't? Um, because, I don't know, we're, we're trash. <laughs> Edu, blame Edu, bro. Real Madrid fan is Sharky's podcast. Sharky is Arteta's biggest fan. Go look at what he said. Also does videos with the club. So, yeah, come on. Brown envelope, gang, bro. Come on. So I'm saying there's a lot of people out there. There's a lot of people out there that are on the take, mate. Yeah, they don't say their real opinions. Yeah, anyone who does work with a football club can't take you seriously. Can't take you seriously. Profiting off of losers again. Come on. Uh, Adrian as well. Big up to you, mate. More like the cut, more like current Zidane over current Odegaard. Mate, yeah, even the Saddam now is better than Martin Odegaard will ever be. Your defence is relaxed. Eddie's falling on his ass. <laughs> Right, this football club is infested. Honestly, absolutely infested. Infestation. It's crazy, bro. Big up to you, Dale. Big up to footy um, highlights as well. Um, you're overachieving. Just be happy. Odegaard or Zico. <laughs> well, you know, these lot have been making a case that Odegaard's better than Burkamp and that, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Paul, I'd take I'd take a 50 a odd year old Paul Merson right now over Odegaard. Paul Merson was a baller. But the mutants don't like that, bro. All this says, oh, but he, he's on the drink again. Shut up, man. Paul Merson was one of the best players we had. Top, top player. Top, top player. Love it. Absolutely love it. I'd love it if we beat them. But anyway, let's carry on. Let's carry on. Thank you for that, mate. Um, Odegaard is second in shot sequences featured. Shot sequences. Is that another made-up metric that these super mutants are putting out there? It's crazy. Oi, pam these likes up. There's 3K in the building, man. Let's get up to 1,500 real quick. We're going to carry on. I'm enjoying myself. We've got plenty more to work through. Got plenty more to go. Big up to Neftali as well. My bro, you know, Carl. I'm tired of frying fish. I want the caviar football. Come on, always, bro. Hope you and the family are good, my friends. Let's carry on. So, yeah. Prime Zidane. Oh, here we go. Ah, yeah, here we go. I can't play that goal because I'll get done for copyright. But anyway. Lol, the gaslighting under this from Proper Gooners. This man was captain and turned up late to a North London derby, celebrated towards us when he signed for Chelsea, made the dressing room toxic. Was you in there, was you? No, you weren't, was you? So how do you know that? How do you know that? He also won us an FA Cup, which he conveniently forgot, mate. But you carry on, proper gooners. Uh, this super mutant, by the way, uh, seems to talk about me all the time. Literally tweets my name all the time. I think this uh, super mutant forgets that I used to go on his channel back in the day um, before he cried, couldn't hack it anymore, and the demons kicked in and he had to give the channel to Tom Cannon, the Guna talk. He owned the channel. He owned the channel. And um, anyone who remembers watching it back then, that was when the Pratt in the Hat hijacked the show, do you remember? When he was on his way back from Sunderland. He was the owner of the show, the channel, and cried... And gave it away. Oh, yeah. Used to get me, Kenny, Mems, 
Pat in the hat, other people on there, then you get a few Arteta in, uh, Wenger in. Yeah, but basically, he was the original toxic channel out there. He loves to forget that because he likes to think that everyone's forgotten. We ain't forgotten. Don't go anywhere. And I know you're watching, you melt as well. Yeah, I know you're watching. Curiosity killed the cat, my friend. Yeah, but let's carry on roasting this idiot because after that, he then set up another channel. And uh, judges and pots used to go on it with him. Then judges and pots did their own thing. And he cried again. He actually sat on Judge's channel at one point, literal tears, crying actual tears, actual tears. Oh, you know, uh, I need to come off social media, you know, my mental health. Yeah, stop chatting bollocks and stay off the internet and sort it out, mate. Yeah, about getting bullied at work and all that. You're a grown man, mate. Man up. Yeah, keep my name out of your mouth as well, you milk. Yeah, you're a wrong one, mate. Yeah, you mention my name again, I'll do a whole show on your tweets. Don't worry about that, mate. <laughs> He is a fucking idiot, this geezer. Yeah. But now he will all over the internet. Oh, look, I've rattled him. No, the only thing that's rattled, mate, is you. Have another have another time out. Have another time out. The demons mutant, mate. The Scotty Boy Groomer pack. Because that's another one as well. I'm grooming negativity, he tweeted out once. I'm grooming negativity, yet he owned. The original negativity channel, negative channel. He owned that channel. Yeah. He owned that channel. He loves to forget that. One of the biggest melts and wet wipes nailed on his quadruple jabbed as well. Nailed on, mate. All the boosters. He's lining up for another shot of boosters. He still wears the masks in bed. All right. It's crazy. The face nappies and that. It's unbelievable, Jeff. But yeah. Keep my name out of your mouth, you milk. How about that? How about that? Because otherwise, I will do a whole show on your tweets about me. Yeah, and I'll roast you differently, my friend. Slow cooked for eight hours, seasoning the lot. Cheers. I guarantee you see someone today with them. Yeah, bro, it's 25 degrees outside, bro. I guarantee if I go down to Mercadona, uh, there'll be people walking around with them on. Too far gone to be saved, mate. Cheers. Anyway, I don't get bullied at work, so let's carry on. Let's carry on. <laughs> ah, here we go. The Mega Mutant's back. The Mega Mutant is back. The Mega Mutant. I'm superstitious. No, you're not. You're a melt. And Bakayu, please, brother, we need the old trim back. Yeah, like having a different color hair stops him playing football, mate. Weird people. Oh, here we go. We've got another mega mutant here. This one likes to think he's a level-headed fan. Level-headed. What does that even mean? That just means you gnaw off anything the club say. That just means you gnaw off anything the club say, my friend. But anyway, we're carrying on cooking all of these dickheads today. We ain't having it, bruv. We are not having it. So anyway, Paul Skulls. Short corners of shit he put out on Instagram. So this guy... It always fascinates me that players can reach such a high level, work with some of the best coaches of all time, and still retire from the game with such poor understanding of things. You would imagine have been explained to them by elite professionals over and over. Yep. I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry, mate. But you, my friend, know more than Paul Scholes. You know more about football than one of the greatest players the Premier League has ever seen. No drama, no problem. Let's go. But it is what it is. Let's carry on. Ah, here we go. No disrespect to David Raya, but I absolutely love the energy Aaron Ramsdale brings to the team. You love the energy. The guy is full of passion and charisma. Feels like the team has had it, all its personality and connection with the fans stripped away by dropping rammers. <laughs> Oh my days, is this fucking Love Island? Do me a favor. Who agrees? I love Rammers because he winds up the other fans and he starts fist pumping to us. I feel a connection and emotions. These unhinged people, man, get in the bin. Entra and la basura, yo de puta. Anyway, let's carry on. This one replied to my tweet. 
Um, stop waffling. We're witnessing back-to-back -back title races for the first time in two decades. You are parading the very FA Cup won by Wenger that some fans discredit as a non-major trophy for Arteta. I haven't, mate. We are finally contenders in the Premier League and have arrived in the Champions League in style. <laughs> I'm convinced these people are fucking making this up. Here we go, another one. Bukayo Saka just went back to default. Our title charge continues. Be scared. <laughs> Same guy. Arsenal signing Anana will be the best decision made by our club to boost our title hopes. But I thought we had 29. I thought 29 was the one, mate. Same guy. Is that the same guy? No, different guy. Oh, this is the one that we've caught in the unicorn section um, in his feelings about rammers. Is this the guy? Uh, anyway, uh, imagine if the whole squad wanted to win as bad as Martin Odegaard. We'd be untouchable. <laughs> what makes you think he wants to win, mate? Well, because he does all this. Does all that. Hair flicks. That makes you think he wants to win. Okay, cool. It's how easily pleased these fans are, by the way. This is how easily pleased this fan base are. They're, they're sexually attracted to these footballers. Same guy. 29 hasn't been anywhere near as bad as the rivals and some of our own fans make him out to be. I'd actually start him again up front. He was decent and we looked much improved. It would be statistically impossible to keep missing chances. Don't give up on us. Yeah, just keep missing chances, mate. I'm sure one will go in. I'm sure one will go in. I mean, have another go. Just keep going, fella. Just keep going. It don't matter. You've missed 159 chances. <laughs> have another go. Maybe the 160 if I go in. Get in the bin. Ah, the Mega Mutant. AFC linked with six, uh, a new six. Only way it happens is if Thomas Party exits with a massive, and we get a massive fee. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. I swear these people ain't real. A club in Dubai. No doubt Saudi suitors will be lining up to convince the player and the club to part waves. Would prefer him with us for the running. Immense midfielder. Get out of here, man. It's strange to feel both sad and uplifted by yesterday's game against Liverpool. <laughs> oh, here we go. Another XG merchant. Look. Another XG merchant. I was much more worried and, um, and annoyed after our performance against Fulham, where we looked like a bad team. We were playing good and creating chances. 1.78 to 0 0.89. It's not a system failure. Get out of here. What sort of fan hangs on for ages to get through to, the ra to a radio station just to spout bile about Arteta and the players? If you're one of those, then shame on you. Get off my timeline. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. You, you just got to laugh, mate. Yeah, I swear, these people are absolutely tapped. They're tapped. They are absolutely tapped. It's crazy. It is actually crazy. These people are mad. The voice, yeah, come on. They're all in their emotions, bro. It's the unicorn voice, the rainbow merchants and that. Do you know what I'm saying? State of these fans, you know what I'm saying? These boys are killing me. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to go and get a beer. Stay there. Stay there. 10 seconds. Don't go anywhere. Smash the lights up, guys. You can do it. You can do it, guys. What's the expected likes? What's the expected likes? Does anyone know the X, um, XL? Anyone know the XL? We've got 2.9K in the building. We ain't even at 1,500. Come on, get these likes up. Expected likes in that. Look at these expected likes up, people. Expected likes. Anyway. Let's carry on. Missing free sitters is not doing all right. Exactly. That's what I'm saying, bro. These people chat absolute crap. The bar is so low at this football club that they think being in a title race last season is success. And they got so giddy about last season 
they gassed up all of this squad, the bench, the manager, all the sign-ins that we signed in the summer, and now they want to get rid of half the bench. They're full of shit. But don't worry, this channel is here to highlight their BS. Cheers. This channel is here as an alternative to all the, as Northside would say, the pucaria um, online. This channel says it as it is and demands winning trophies. Not, oh, we're in a title challenge. Anyway, let's carry on. Told you this was going to be an epic two hour show, bro. Epic two hour show. Anyway, let's go. The over -re overarching narrative is that Arsenal need to buy a clinical goal scorer. Do they actually need one? The rational answer is that they probably don't. <laughs> This guy writes for the Athletic that you all subscribe to. Yeah, good one. Good one, mate. Cheers. You write that crap for the Athletic. Oh, my days. People pay you to write that. We don't need a striker, guys. It's fine. It's fine. Last year was an anomaly anyway, scoring that many goals. I mean, come on. The manager's told us. <laughs> Why did my football club get infested with these wankers, man? embarrassing it's embarrassing guys i feel embarrassed guys clear and obvious guys oh there we go the mega mutants back again he's brought out the pie charts that looks like um like you know when you do the the trading right the crypto and stuff like that like right, stocks and shares what is this 10 game rolling average of non-penalty goals scored above or below xg since 2020 2021 excuse me Mm, okay. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? Can somebody explain to me what that even means? What is what is this? I feel like I'm back at school in a maths lesson or something. Pie charts. This is this is crazy. Why do they love expected goals, expected assists? Right? Why don't we just expect a title? How about that? I'm sick to death of these fucking mutants chatting absolute crap. How can you sit there and come up with this? Yeah, and actually, and thousands of people love this crap. Millions of people love this shit up. What if, if? What is this for? What? Why? It's crazy. It's actually crazy. Is that a polygraph reading? <laughs> <laughs> oh my good god big up to HN man Uno deployed um, Kevin Gamero in the Europa League final versus Liverpool and changed the game um, where's Gamero now where is Javier Pastore too uh, good questions All right, mate. Yeah, them Europa League finals mate Uno Emery was a bad man the only club he has lost a Euro Europa League final with is Arsenal What do I know? I'm toxic and negative. Uh, big up to you, HN, man. All right, big up to my boy, Matty, as well. I'll take her out and buy in stadiums in the transfer window. <laughs> expected us. Expected stadiums. Keep pumping these likes up, guys. I'm on with Jez. I think Matty's on as well. Make sure you sub to Matty's channel, Southern Guna. Uh, Kenny's going to be on as well. We're on Jez's channel later. And then me and, um, me and End of Stream Dave are going to do a, a Madrid derby watch along tonight in Super Cup semi final Real Madrid Atletico Madrid. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Make sure you sub to the Lee Reacts channel. And big up to Matty as well, man. Always love my bro. Uh, cooked out. F him, bro. F him. I ain't putting that guy on my screen. I love nightmares. Uh, if I'll take it sacked, do a 24 hour live stream, Top Gooners. Telling me Saka, Vinny, and Ballot Spurs, they're tapped. Yeah, maybe we could do a 24 hour stream the day he goes. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Because he's going to be going around the summertime, I'd imagine, unless they unless it all falls down real quick. And then he could be gone sooner. So, yeah, we could go and sit on the beach for 24 hours. <laughs> Just to wind him up even more. <laughs> Big up for the highlights, man. Big up to uh, Desmond uh, Rami as well. Uh, what do they not understand? 
we will never see party in an Arsenal shirt again. Absolutely agree. Absolutely agree, my friend. Big up to you for the super chat, bro. Big up to Billy Humphreys as well. Uh, big up yourself cooking these frauds. Bro, they are frauds. What is this? What are we looking at here? Like, honestly, this is how top gooners tweet these days. They, they literally sit... Uh, this ain't even the best yet, either. There's another one coming in a minute. Yeah, you have to pay for that Mega Mutants um, website. You have to pay for that one. You get a little bit, but then if you want to carry on reading, you have to pay for it. Mm. Cool. We we'll carry on, and he actually makes up his own metrics, like literally, he's making them up. Like they're his. He started it. So we're coming to women, man. <laughs> well, I'm enjoying this. Like the viewing figures are lit as well. Come on, nearly three k in it still. Nearly three k in the building still. We ain't playing. We ain't ramping today, baby. We ain't ramping today. It is uh, extremely good. Extremely good. But anyway. What am I doing here? One sec. What's my missus one now? Leave me alone. I'm working. Oh, Dave can't join the stream later. No worries. No worries. No worries. No worries. My old man's text me saying, I think the new um I think the new <laughs> I think the new Birmingham manager has been speaking to Arteta. Birmingham have put the new manager out with the caption, trust the process. <laughs> English football is in the gutter, mate. It is actually in the gutter. Trust the process. What process? How have they got the audacity, Birmingham City, after hiring Wayne Rooney when they were sixth? They're now 20th. Sack him, hire this guy, and then say, trust the process, and nobody's going to question it. Pathetic. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. One sec, my missus is waffling. Copy. Why can't she do this, man? See, if you need anything doing, ask a geezer. <laughs> oh, dear. I right, smashed these likes up. We've got plenty more to go as well. Trust me, there's plenty more to come. We're going to carry on. Okay. Copy and paste this back to the missus. We're nearly done. I am starving as well. And we're going to get some food. Then I'm on with Jez. And, um, and then... And then I'm not doing the stream with Dave anymore. I'm just going to be doing it on my own. Dave's, uh, Dave's unavailable. Yeah. Anyway, let's carry on. Big up to uh, big up to Matthew, bro. Um, Aston, man. Brian, come on, my guy. Hope you're well. Haven't been watching anything Arsenal lately. Not worth my time. I don't blame you, especially where you live as well, bro. Getting up at stupid o'clock to watch this football club. Madness. Hope you, you and the family are well, bro. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Uh, what's the expected lies looking like? Uh, they're off the chart, bro. It's a world record. The world record. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable, Jeff. But, like I said, we're just toxic and negative, lads. We are toxic and negative. Toxic and negative. You're being toxic and negative. <laughs> uh, big up to our stack bands. Hey, bro, I think that's what this guy's trying to do. I think he's on the stock market with, with this. I think that's what he's trying to do, bro. 
Uh, what's the main reason you dislike AOTV? Uh, many reasons, mate, but kicking Claude off. Many reasons, mate. Um, bang out of order. But they can do what they want. It's their channel. But it's what it is. Anyway, let's continue. Let's continue. We've got plenty more to get our teeth into. Mikel Arteta gets any top club in the world. But I see some absolute melts on here who want him gone. Okay. I'll come back to that. I'm saving that. I'm keeping that. But when he's at Osasuna in about six years' time. Funny enough, he is from the Basque region. Don't forget this. So all the supporters, we are the Arsenal. Historically, we do not boo our players. Again, factually incorrect. Boo uh, Granite Xhaka off the pitch. Boo De Boue off the pitch. Boo Do Nyemri. Boo Darson Wenger. These people are chatting absolute bookeria. Anyway, let's carry on. Zinchenko is miles ahead of Kieran Tierney all last season. We just signed Timber alongside Tommy Asu, his third choice there. How can you predict an ACL? Big up to this guy who absolutely muddied this mill. Absolutely muddied him. Muddied. No. Yours is an idiotic tweet. Timber got injured 15 days before we let Tierney go on loan. Hendra and Lebasura, you puta. Get in the bin. We knew he had done his ACL. We knew Zinchenko and Tommy were frequently injured too. You don't have to lie to defend Arteta over everything. He can't get he can get things wrong. Just admit it. Big up to uh, Goat Zil Ten. Big up to you. Mud that geezer. He's a wrong one. Uh, anyway, this one let his mask slip and then deleted the tweet. Luckily, somebody screenshotted him. The golf ball swallows back. Faults. Here's my faults. We are so effing stupid. Game should have been dead and buried in the first half, but we spent 65 million on a player who can't play football. Oh. Why did you delete it, mate? Were you getting cooked in the quotes, the 173 quotes? Were you getting cooked? Man even issued an apology for putting that tweet out. Like anyone cares, mate. Yeah? You ain't that guy, my friend. You ain't that guy. You're just another wannabe super mutant. Anyway, uh, this old fella here uh, was uh, an extremely vocal Arteta, uh, sorry, Venga out back in the day. But I don't know. Maybe he's sexually attracted to Mikel Arteta. Yeah, he's coming under some pressure after three consecutive defeats, but Arteta is still absolutely our man. Compare that to if Real Madrid lose three games in a row and see what their fan base is saying with a better manager, one of the greatest of all time. He's made mistakes and plenty of them, but he's still a relative novice in managerial terms. Why don't you go and learn your trade somewhere else then? Why are you doing your apprenticeship here? He is an outstanding coach, but must improve our recruitment. How do you know he's an outstanding coach? He's managed to coach one trophy out of 16, mate. What are you waffling about? Here we go. Liverpool celebrating wins in the Mickey Mouse Cup. We've got bigger fish to fry in the Champions League. Some idiots actually made that picture, by the way. Somebody's actually made that. Can you believe it? Would you believe it? Unbelievable. Where did these mutants come from? Honestly. Good morning to everyone who hasn't given up on our team or our manager. To everyone else, please go and collect your good morning from rival fans. Um, I'll just collect my good morning from my actual missus rather than a bunch of strangers online love yeah too many of these infest football as well by the way oh good morning good morning i'll go and collect yours from rivals no i actually talk to human beings not mutants i don't need gratification from strangers online what are we doing here Probably another unhinged bird on the internet. Rome wasn't built in a day. Be patient. Look at the state of that manager. 
This is a good tweet, by the way, um, which is why I saved it. Big up to Chucky Vance. Arteta is in a perpetual cycle of replacing his mistakes. We signed Laconga a season before Everton signed Anana. Both Belgium youth internationals, the Cronkies need to stop bankrolling him. Great comment, my friend. Fantastic comment. F him. Don't give him another penny. 16 million on Laconga. 35 on Vieira. 65 on 29. Just saying. Oh, here we go. The Mega Mutants back. My manager, full faith in you, boss. <laughs> here we go. We've got bigger fish to fry. Big up, Hex. <laughs> <laughs> I am dying. That's hilarious. We got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> Expressions is hilarious. <laughs> this is too funny, man. The fact that he's put a um a sports bra on him as well makes it even funnier. <laughs> I, this chat is hilarious man i can't lie you lot are absolutely killing me you lot are funny man honestly who built rome yeah exactly who built rome rome wasn't built in a day how do they know that was they alive were they around back then It's crazy, isn't it? Where the hell did this binge guy spam from? Another mutant. A couple of mutants had a mutant. <laughs> and you know what's crazy? Is these super mutants are going to actually create other baby mutants because they're going to, I'd imagine at some point, have a baby with somebody, have a family and settle down. Then they're going to create more mutants. They're just going to keep mutating and mutating and mutating. <laughs> Crazy. This is funny, but people shouldn't be disrespecting others. Always be that. Nah, X is hilarious, bro. X is hilarious. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we go. Here we go. This is this is the bigger fish to fry, bruv. It really sucks that crappy answer is. Uh, sorry. Let me read this out properly. Let me stop waffling. It really sucks, but the crappy answer that won't make anyone feel better is probably the truth that the players just need to kick and head the ball better. Well done then. Well done. Every player on, on Arsenal haven't all forgotten how to kick a ball, I hope, but it does feel like it. Going back to the Villa match, Arsenal have now taken 106 shots and they are worth 9.95 XG on my model. On his model. His model, yeah? His model that he's just made up out of fresh air, spent hours and hours and hours, hundreds of hours on a simulation outcome for Arsenal's recent chances. <laughs> Maybe get outside, mate. Just go outside, mate. There's a whole world out there. You don't need to be sat in the box room at Marsgaff, mate. With the supercomputer. The supercomputer has predicted you're a weirdo, bruv. I'm getting the word nonce. And they have just turned four of them into goals. It's a pretty wild run of bad finishing. It doesn't change the result or give Arsenal bonus points or anything, but this is just a very weird and dumb sport sometimes. So why are you spending so much time doing simulations and making up fake metrics? It doesn't change the outcome. So why have you spent hours and hours and hours and hours of your life doing a fake simulation to make out, oh my God, what we already knew? Go outside and touch grass, bruv. Real talk. Um, I would look at that guy, but he blocked me. <laughs> when I quote tweeted one of his waffling uh, AI, um, AI generated tweets the other day with translated, can somebody translate from mutant to English? He blocked me. But this is what they do, bro. They said they're making up these metrics that have no rhyme or rhythm. But anyway. Let's carry on with this guy because he's got a whole website dedicated to this crap. Here we go. One second. We're going to have to share 
the other screen. I'm gonna have to share a different screen. And stick the cigarette out, and we will carry on. We will carry on. We're two hours in. The cooking is exceptional. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Scott Willis. Oh, this is the guy that my man at the very beginning was talking about field tilt. This is the Scots that hasn't uploaded. Oh, I see. Yes, it makes sense now. Headline, the finishing story again, unfortunately. The Arsenal racked up chance after chance in the opening periods. And I kept thinking to myself, how can I be a bigger mutant? <laughs> Please don't let not finishing these and losing on something fluky can happen again. We played well. It, uh, well, it played out exactly like that. Look at this. What is this? What is this? Arsenal 2.3 XG, then in brackets, 1.7 XG to 2.9 XG, minus 2.9. What? what? Liverpool 0 0.9 XG in brackets, 0 0.7 XG minus 1.2 XG. What are you waffling about, mate? First half. First half. Here we go. What's this down here? The shaded area represents the 90% confidence interval of the true expected goals value of each shot, plus minus 25%. What? The shaded area represents 90% confidence interval of the true expected goals value of each shot plus minus 25. What the fuck are you waffling about, mate? What is going on here? Honestly, what is this crap? And people sub, uh, you have to pay to get on this website, by the way. Right? You can go, I think you can read quite a bit of it and you have to, like, if, or he puts it, you have to pay, and then after a certain time, you get it for free or something, uh, after a week or so. All right, let's carry on. Let's listen to this gobbledygook. It is crazy, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I can't handle any more of this cereal waffling. Yeah, bro, it's crazy. My brain hurts too, bro. True as well. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the guy has drawn the Mario running game. <laughs> Mario. This is what we're dealing with in this fan base. I will come back to the super chats in a minute, people, and your comments as well, yeah? Right, anyway, let's read this crap out. Let's read this rubbish out. It's hard to spin this match as one where Arsenal did anything other than dominate Liverpool. 19 shots to 12, 13 to 2 in the first half. Hey, 19 shots to 12, 13 to 2 in the first half. Big chances, four to one, three to zero in the first half. Touches in the box, 51 to 26, 28 to seven in the first half. High starts from pressing. What's that mean? What's a high start? 14 to six, eight to four in the first half. The most frustrating type of performance because the team played well. The things that looked broken last game against Fulham looked like they had been tweaked and adjusted for. Arteta didn't ask Kivior to play like an off-brand Zinchenko. Instead of bringing in Jorginho to fulfill that role in a double pivot with Rice, he didn't go back to Enketi as the guy leading the line and not being able to link and interchange with the wide players. Instead, bringing in 29 and the chances flowed. We got some more, we got some more stats coming up in a sec. The defense played really well. <laughs> the defense played really well. Yeah, of course they did, mate. Two goals conceded. Well done, mate. Yeah keeping high-flying Liverpool quiet for long stretches. And they didn't get a chance over 10% until the 77th minute. 10% of what? The best chance was when Arsenal were pushing hard and got caught. Mm. It was Liverpool at their most impotent of the season. I want, there, I want there to be something wrong. I want to yell and complain about when these types of losses happen. And when there isn't, I just feel like I am in, in a weird, frustrated state of this and hate of this dumb game. Obviously, taking the chances that Arsenal had and turning them into a type of shot on target map is not good. What is this? 
Goal scored, zero. Post, what? Post shot XG. Shot, what the fuck is this geezer waffling about, honestly? It really sucks. But some crappy answers won't make anyone feel better. And it's probably the truth that the players need. Yeah, I've read that. Cool, we've done that. There you go. Keep reading with a seven-day free trial. Who the fuck subs to this shit? Who actually pays to watch this? Right, and read this. Who actually pays this geezer money to sign up to that website? He's basically made up his own metrics for why Arsenal were good. Waste on. Anyway. Let's carry on. Let's carry on. How many subs are we on? Bosh! Nine away from 93.3. Right, big up to everyone who's liked the stream as well. There's still 2.6 in the building. Love, love, love. Love, 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 people. Come on. Uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Read the comment on the article. Oh, I've gone I've gone off of it now. One sec. Well, let me load it. Well, let me load it, bro. No, well, let me load it. F him. These idiots, man. Anyway, I think there's a couple more, and then we we'll get back into the comments. As you can see, it's been an epic stream. It's been amazing. The amount of mega mutants out there are making up their own stats make out Arsenal are really good under this manager. This is where football's headed. All right, let's share the screen again. We've got a few more, and then we're going to wrap up. We'll get some comments from you guys. Good morning to everyone who still believe in Arteta and the boys. A setback doesn't mean the end of the road. He'll turn it around. Just trust him. But, 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 but just back him. You cannot blame Mikel for today's defeat. The players have let him down too many times in front of goal. Who signed the players, mate? We just need a striker with Jesus pressing and combination play. 29's physicality. <laughs> what? <laughs> Since when's he been physical? And then Ketty is finishing and we'd win it all. When can Eddie couldn't finish a wank, mate? What are you waffling about? Get out of here. Oh, the same mega mutant, by the way. A couple back just there. Good morning to everyone who still believe in Arteta and the boys. Setback doesn't mean the end of the road. He'll turn it around. Trust him. All right, when was that? Eight for Jam. On the very same day, <laughs> dear Mikel Arteta, we have a goal scoring crisis. We need a striker, not another DM. If this come back to bite you, I will not be there. But just trust him. <laughs> you said it on the same day, mate. Just trust him. Trust him. Same day. Same day. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of talk about the manager, but I'm not sure he's to blame for us failing to finish our, any chances. I do think we can discuss how the squad management has destroyed most of the sale value of it. Get out of it. These dickheads, man. Arteta isn't above criticism. He made plenty of mistakes, but people are forgetting um, where we were at the end of Emery's tenure. Fella, we never finished eighth twice. What are you waffling about? Oh, Field Tilt Merchant's back. Here he is. Field Tilt. We won on Field Tilt. We'll take that. We'll absolutely take that. No one does what we did to Liverpool today without being that damn good. Hmm. Really? Wolves did it, mate. What are you waffling about? Wolves took them apart. Just didn't finish their chances as well. Rest in Dubai. Get some players back and throw everything at the league. What do you mean rest in Dubai? See Declan Rice walking around the golf course with fucking Rory McIlroy. Why ain't he training? Why ain't he practicing to get better? Get out of here. Ah, yes, we're going to end on this. Uh, we're going to end on this mutant. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> this tweet, this tweet coming up after the uh, one I'm about to read. I'll tell you, I can't go on the pitch and put the ball in the net for these, man. If you can't put away five, six clear cut chances, that's on you. Uh, no, that's on the manager for picking them, mate. Now, uh, that next tweet, don't go anywhere. I'm going to go and get a cigarette. Just one second, people. And um, we are now going to cook. 
We are now going to cook. And we'll end it on that and I'll come to your comments. Big up to everyone who's locked in. Smash these likes through the roof. Smash these likes through the roof. This has been an epic two hours, 10 minutes. I am starving. I need to eat, man. I am starving. I'm nearly as starving as these mega mutants online to um, prove their undying love for Super Mick. But anyway, let's go. Why are we counting Champions Leagues? Let's actually go through a combined 11. Why are we counting Champions Leagues? Let's just go and get all of Arsenal's players in the Madrid 11. Forget the Champions Leagues. 11. Courtois is injured, so I'm going to go David Rea. They don't have a left back of quality, so I'm going to go Zinchenko. Yeah, they don't have Ferland Mendy or Frank Garcia, but carry on. Go centre back pairing. I'm going to go Gabriel and Saliba. I don't think any of their centre backs are better than ours. Rudiger? No? Okay, carry on. It's a toss up between Carvajal and Ben White, but I. It's a toss up between Carvajal, five times Champions League winner, or Benjamin White. I'd rather have Ben White. The midfield, Declan Rice is a defensive midfielder, no debate. He's a defen the defensive midfielder, no debate. Not Tony Cruz then, no? Okay, carry on. Jude Bellingham is also in, no debate. And it comes down to Modric or Martin Odegaard. Notice how he had to remember who our player was in that position, but he's putting Martin Odegaard in over Modric. Okay. And I pick Martin Odegaard. I think Vinicius has been poor this season, so I'm going to go Rodrigo. Vinicius has been poor. Quite clearly, you don't watch Madrid, mate. Vinicius has been poor. Go Saka and Jude, uh, and, Jude, and Gabriel Jesus. Let me know. What you That's your combined eleven, yeah. That's your combined eleven. Yeah, good one, mate. What is going on here? What is going on here? This is what we're dealing with. This is what we're dealing with. Kamavinga as well, exactly. He can play left back. Although, yeah, he, I, I think he's injured still. He's back. Might be back tonight. Bellingham them in because he's hype. Exactly. Bro, these men don't watch Real Madrid. These people are crazy, bro. They're absolutely crazy. I've oh, got a few more. Let's carry on. Mikel is spot on. We need to stay behind the players and support them. We are a really good team that controls 80% of the time. We just lack the finishing. <laughs> One thing that will help keep supporters behind this team is making moves this month. Show the ambition and get it done. Right, well, why don't you tweet out, mate? Yeah. Madness. Do you remember that one back in 2016? Madness. That went well, didn't it, fella? Jorginho was excellent yesterday. He put control to the midfield. He freed up Rice. He had three key passes, won seven out of nine duels, and had four successful tackles. The Italian rarely had a, has a bad performance. Elite player. Get out of here, man. Oh, this is funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is actually hilarious. <laughs> nah, man, this is too funny. This is too funny. Anyone who blames Mikel is just bitter and delusional. Arsenal fans will watch this performance and then blame Arteta for losing. Yeah, he's the manager, mate. The buck lies with him. It stops with him. Absolutely spot on. We, How we behave now as supporters is so important. It's tough, but now is the time to really get behind them. Shut up. 61 shots in three last three games and scored one goal, but Arteta out. Okay, then. Arteta's downfall was so predictable. Sensible fans kept saying Tierney and Pepe for depth, but no, we don't need them. We'll replace them. Um, of course, went on to sign players that we didn't need for 65 mil. Just an idiotic tweet. He was miles ahead of Tierney. Yeah, we've done that one. He got ruined. We've done this one. His mask slipped. Yep. Oh, here we go. XG merchants are back. XG merchants are back. You can't blame the manager for the players not scoring. Okay, mate. It was so bad for Arteta. What more can the man do? 
these people are sexually attracted to Mikel Arteta. They're more interested in his career than they are Arsenal winning. This comment. Here we go. <clears throat> this is a good comment. Big up to this guy. He's got standards. Tonight's game just shows how the big Arsenal accounts on Twitter are dick riders. Either they're getting paid or hoping to be on the payroll because there's no way a human being with a brain will exempt Arteta for this shit show. Big up to you, my guy. Arsenal's best football and performances this season, domestically at least, have come from December the 1st onwards, but it's been the worst run of results. That is what will fry brains and cause debates. I genuinely think some people take comfort in having a meltdown. And fair enough, each to their own. But acting like we didn't play well in large parts today, I don't get it. Uh. People that have been at Arteta out since day one claiming victory, why don't you just put Lee Gunn on me? Why don't you just say that? Why don't you just say that? Why don't you just say that? And they were right. They were right all along. You've been wrong for four years and you're still wrong now. Well, he's proving me right every day, mate. He's proven me right every day. One trophy out of 16. Three bad results, including one bad performance, doesn't remove the progress he's made at the club. What progress? We're in our worst, longest trophy drought for a decade. F off if you're Arteta out. <laughs> oh, dear. The Mega Mutants back. 63 shots last three games, zero scored. We've conceded 10 shots on target and conceded six goals. No team creates more chances and scores less. <laughs> There's a problem then. No team limits teams and concedes more. There's definitely a problem then. Reality catches up with performances and luck pivots. The tide will turn. People will watch that half and blame Arteta. If you're genuinely calling for Arteta to be sacked. You deserve to be Chelsea or Man United fan. <laughs> Who are these people, man? It's so don't be entitled. Be supportive. That's your job. Mate, I'm sorry, mate. The predefined metric for success in football is not being supportive. It's winning trophies. Um, so exhausting having to watch much of our ridiculous entitled plastic fan base screaming <laughs> and crying and embarrassing us when we've had a bit of a bad run. What Mikel Arteta has done for the club in the last few years is hard to fathom. Get out of here. Seen a lot of people criticising Arteta for the summer transfer prioritisation. Okay, but we have a technical director who's literally supposed to oversee it all. This guy's Arteta out. I know he's Arteta out. He just don't want to say it. Blame Mikel if you want. But he's coached wins in Arsenal's last three matches. Um, sorry, mate. We've lost them all. He's coached a win. No, he didn't. He coached three losses. Dress it up how you like. XG for this, XG for that. Get out of here. The new Arsenal scapegoat. Get out of here. 29 was really good today, by the way. Just learn the game before making yourself look a fool. Arsenal scored one goal from 6.47 XG over the last three games. But tell me again how it's Arteta's fault. Here we go. People think, I'm, people think I'm crazy. The Jota Dagger is coming, bro. Ten minutes to go. Jota Dagger, yeah? And then this dickhead are making subs. Look how we set up. One, two, three, four. Same thing. We static again. Watch what's going to happen. I score, guarantee. I guarantee. There it is. There it is. <laughs> again. How do we know the goal's coming? If you watch that performance and thought Arteta, the problem's Arteta, you're clueless. I could go on for another three hours. Oh, here we go. Let's end on this one. Let's end on this, Joker. We'll end on that. Why were we wearing no more red? Oh, yeah, to stop knife crime. And this one sitting in an executive box at half time tweets, We need a killer. <laughs> well done, mate. Well done. Well done. Brain dead. Anyway, let's read all these comments out. Arsenal have the highest expected anti knife crime. <laughs> That's a funny con. I right, get these likes up to 2k people. There's loads of you still in it. 2.5 in the building still. Uh, let's have um see a quick hair flick. All right, I'm getting my hair cut tomorrow. Getting this all shaved off, eyebrows done. We're getting all brand new tomorrow, bruv. Yeah, brand new. They couldn't fit me in today, unfortunately. Big up to you, my guy. Big up to William as well. Uh, massive big up to you, Lee. Uh, have you by any chance seen much of from Napoli and amazing talent give Martinelli some competition run for his money need a striker though 
Bro, to be honest with you, I'll just buy Pedro Neto. I know he's injured quite a lot, but he's a quality player, man. He's a quality player. I right, big up Steve. Big up Steve. I was going to put him on here, but he'll probably be sitting there with the tissue out, bruv. He'll have the tissue out if I put him on there, Steve. He's a wrong one. Proper wrong. Big up, mate. I'll be well. When did football become statistics? Exactly, Daryl. They're killing. They're killing the game, mate. It's a great Sean Dyche said, kick it in this end, stop it going in that end. <laughs> Why do you need to complicate it when the game's so simple? Because these mega mutants are all trying to get a gig at Football London, mate, as a football an analytics, uh, analyst, sorry, or an analytical expert. Yeah, or, oh my God, I'm a sports writer and I'm a football trends writer. Good luck, mate. Good luck. Lee, this is comedy gold. What the actual? Yeah, bro, can't be dizzle. Bro, these people are tapped. I'll tell the band followers are fully brain Yeah, they're gone. They're too far gone to be saved, mate. I can't wait for the day he leaves. Yeah, they're all in tears the day he's gone, mate. That Muppet Twitter show would be hilarious. You couldn't finish in a brothel high on Viagra. Come on, Riku. 100%. Eddie's trash. Big up Rossi, man. Fair play for calling these fools out directly. Yeah, F them, man. F them. I know they've all been sat there watching it as well. <laughs> <laughs> 20,000 views live. Cheers. Big up. Big up to everyone. Big up to you, Cole, man. Hope you're good, mate. It took Fergie longer to win a trophy at United. Arteta can forge his own footballing legacy at Arsenal in the same way Fergie did at United. That's got, <laughs> that's got to be banter, bro. Yeah, difference between Fergie and Mikel Arteta is Fergie had already won titles. Beat Real Madrid in a final. With Aberdeen. Real Madrid. Big Real Madrid. He also, I think he won a league at St Mirren, didn't he? I'm pretty sure he won the league at St Mirren. He also won the cup final with Aberdeen against um, against Glasgow Rangers and then said that in an Aberdeen performance, that's a disgusting performance. They should be ashamed of themselves after winning the cup. Mentality. Big up to you, bro. Uh, Don Carlo's 19 unbeaten, by the way. Yep. With all them injuries as well. Almost like having a good manager and a good squad. Helps, isn't it? Mad, isn't it? Crazy. Big up Silver Ronin, man. Big up to you, my bro. No more. Yeah, come on. No more. No more. Let's do a couple more minutes and we'll wrap this up. Who's live that I like? Who is live or going live? Difficult any texts. I missed sides the other day. Who is going live that I like? Let's have a look. Where we are. But yeah, big up to everyone who's locked in, man. This has been... Um, this has been epic. I can't lie. Wait, Saeed's going live. There we go. We're going Saeed. We're going to Saeed TV in a minute. Next five minutes or so. 93.3K in one sub. Come on, get that done, people. Get to that done. Have a lovely. Have a absolutely lovely. I'll read out a few more comments before we wrap up. Said, where are you, my friend? TV. There he is. No, that's the watch along. There he is. He's doing the man dem talk. The man dem talk show. So yeah, make sure you um go and show Said some love in a minute, people. He's going live in about twenty minutes, twenty five minutes. Uh, anyway, let's carry on. I have a bad feeling about Porto. It ain't easy. It ain't easy. It really ain't. We're we'll transfer Kitty paying for the Dubai trip. Mate, they're all I've I've seen no pictures of training at all. They're all walking around on golf courses with Rory McElroy, like and chilling. Cool. Say less. Fine. I would swap our treble for some field tilt. Crazy, isn't it? Fergie weren't a rookie manager and he won the FA Cup in his fourth season at United. Exactly. These people love to rewrite history, bro. 
They love to rewrite history, these people. They're shut absolute rubbish. Arsenal will lose to Porto. It wouldn't surprise me. If he loses to Porto, watch how many of these mega mutants suddenly come out the woodwork as Arteta out. But anyway, it is what it is. It is what it is. Let's do a few more comments and then we'll redirect to Saeed, yeah? 1,700 people locked in. No, sorry, 2,200 locked in, 1,700 likes. Get these likes up. Come on, 300 people, just spam the like button. Now, I'm going live with Jez. Um, so I'm not going live with Jez. Six o'clock, I think, on Jez's channel. Yeah, six o'clock. Going live with Jez. And um, and then after that, I'm doing a Real Madrid Atleti watch along. So make sure you come and check that out. That's going to be lit. Super Cup semi final. Super Copa Espana. Top stream. Big up to everyone, man. This has been epic. Two and a half hours. <laughs> What manager do you want to replace? I'd say it doesn't matter, bro. It doesn't matter what manager I want because any manager I say instantly dismissed. Anyone who's Arteta in, what manager do you want if he leaves or gets sacked? Because I'll give a load of managers and they'll just get dismissed by everyone. Oh, he didn't do it at Spurs. Didn't do it at Everton. Eh. Oh, but he's washed. What's he done at Atleti in the last two years? Eh. Well, nobody's better than Mikel Arteta. So any Arteta ins out there, when he leaves, who do you want? Because the club's buried, right? We're folding the club. Crazy. Big up to you, bro. Mm. Just fold the club. Fold the club. Yeah, people keep waffling. Oh, Zidane don't want to manage in England. He don't like England. How do you know? Nobody knows. Flick, Carlo, Girona. Yeah, Girona's manager's decent. Manchin. Yeah, exactly. Come on. Well, listen, I'm going to wrap this up because I am starving so um i'm gonna get some food I might get myself a curry i might have a little lamb fowl I have a little lamb fowl for football night a bit of real madrid atleti might do a little lamb fowl mm. potentially but anyway listen this stream has been absolutely lit lit to the maximum big up to everybody who's locked in big up to everyone who's subbed we're over 93.3 this channel is flying and um, the average watch time on this is 18 minutes 37. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, 20,000 views live as well. So thank you to everyone who has locked in. I do appreciate it. And um, make sure you're subbing to Lee Reacts. In fact, let me get the link for that real quick and just sub to this channel. I'll be doing a watch along for Madrid later because that channel is closing in on 25K. I need to get that one up. There we are. It's on 23.6K. So if anyone could uh, go and subscribe to that right now, that would be lovely. Lovely jobly. No, that's not it. What the fuck have I done here? Why does it always do that? Copy. There we go. We copied it. All right. Yeah. Sub to this channel. Loads of watch alongs on there. I'm doing, um, doing the Madrid game and then the second half of the Liverpool game. And then tomorrow I'm doing Barcelona against Osasuna semi-final. So yeah, come on. Big up to everyone locked in. And um, get Jose. Yeah, but what did he do at Tottenham? It's all they ever come out with, bro. Any manager with a better CV than this manager, they cry about. It's mad. Big up to Nick, man. Come on, big up to you, my guy. I appreciate it. They wouldn't like Jose at our club. He's, he's, he's got too much of a mentality for this lot. They love to be the plucky losers. Liverpool fan here, Lee, says, Kartik, big up to you, bro. Thanks for the donation, bud. Uh, Lee... Asked this a lot to stop uh, the clock that lot to stop the clock comparison. I was experienced in taking minds to the top flight. Last non Bayern manager to win Bundesliga, four Champions League finals. Stop it, Arteta fans. Shame. Exactly. Exactly, bro. Shame. Have some fucking shame. But they don't. They don't like shame, bro. They don't like shame. The Madrid game's on ITV4 in the UK for anyone who wants to watch it. And um, yeah, I'll be live um, with Jez in an hour. 20 minutes but it's going to redirect you to Saeed tv yeah make sure you go and spam sage chat lee raid lee reacts etc etc come on big up man big up neftali bro yeah come on bat a brother bad boy bad boy we need a killer bruv we need a killer <laughs> anyway listen big up to everyone who's locked in mad love wicked show go and spam sage chat and uh, i'll be back again 
with Jez in an hour and 20 minutes on um, Arsenal history and more. That link I've just put in as well. Make sure you sub to that channel, guys. I'm quitting it in again. Lee reacts, Lee reacts, Lee reacts. Let's go. Make sure you sub to me on my other channel, yeah? And um, big up to everyone who's watched. And uh, any of the super mutants that have tuned in, cheers. We're going to make this more regular. Thanks. The Arteta out party, the day it happens, is going to be peak. Cheers, guys. Let's see how much they back the club then after their manager gets sacked. Just b -b 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 back him, b -b 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 back the club. Just support the team. Yeah, let's see how much they support the team when that manager's left. Let's see how much they do that because the next manager that will come in, yeah, they'll be on his case. Yeah, they'll be on his case. Very much like they were with Emery because it weren't Daddy Wenger. But anyway, all have a wonderful evening. Big up to Will as well, Hooper, my guy. Come on. Big up to everyone locked in. We're out. Layers. Spam Saeed, yeah?